about the Katamari tra- tracks that are super jazzy that are just perfect for a rainy day like today. Hello. What am I doing here? I live here. I don't live here. I could live here. Hey, welcome. How you doing? 
That was the second day at Board Game Cafe. I played two card games, one that was Spies mixed with Blackjack, and one that was 1v1 Samurai Sword Fight. Cool. Da -da. Yeah! There's a bunch of really rad games. I'm excited to check out. Well, don't get why I haven't gotten washed away yet. Um, hello. I live in the corner over here. Hi. Um, yeah, it is. It is still quite rainy over here in LA, um, which is why um, I'm a, I'm mildly sleep deprived today. I'm fine. Just uh, you know, when it's really rainy out, LA drivers equals people crashing into stuff. Uh, we, we, Bath and I live off a pretty busy street, and it's just been a parade of ambulances the last couple of days. Hope everyone's staying safe, but please be careful if you're in a stormy area, you know. But yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of good sleep last night, so, but I'm excited to play some demos, but if I'm extra just, huh, what, when I, huh, then, uh, you know what, hi. Equals soup? It does. Equals soup. It's true. But thanks for tuning in, um... Raining Palm Springs, I'm sure. I mean, we all need it. SoCal be like, what's rain? Um, there's a timer. I know. I know there's a timer there. That's because I'm going to try to, you know, the last couple. So I've done a handful of these now at this point. Steam's been doing these next fest for years, and I adore them. Uh, I always find a bunch of cool games I did not otherwise know about because of them. Um, but also I've learned in the past that, oh my God, it's really easy for me to just be like, I want to play this game forever. So uh, I'm going to try to keep, keep things focused. Oh yeah. A bit more of the, huh? When I, what? Is the weather okay now? You know, I, I thought it was supposed to be lighter today, but it's still, it's still coming down. Not as heavy, but still, still in it. Damn. It looks cute. Yeah, uh, I'm excited. We got, we got a bunch of games. I can run through them quickly once we get going. Um, I'm going to keep it to roughly 20 minutes per demo is the plan. We got 12 here to check out. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it went over the, yeah. That's how weather do. It's all connected. Yeah, please by by all means if you're sub to Gam, you can you can bury it all time and please wrap it up. And also Gam's latest effort at bullying me via emotes. Which what was the name of it? Uh, a gamble one, have you solved yet, Barry? That's the one. Thanks, Gam. Uh no, the answer is not not yet. I I, I, was, I still haven't seen the last season of Better Call Saul. No, I, I I'm not caught up yet. You're welcome. Thank you, Gam. Appreciate it. I know. Let's. I... Join, join Gam and all of his subscribers in bullying me about Better Call Saul. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna check out some demos. Uh, if you're not, if you've never been to one of my demo streams, I just kind of go through the next fest, see what catches my eye, see what has a demo of a game that's on my wish list already, um, and then I also check the recommend doc, which we have, and people like to. Uh, uh, throw things at me and there are a couple games here that I checked out because of people recommending it And there's also a couple games. I looked at Because people recommended and I was like, what the hell is this? I'm good, but thank you. So uh, I, We're gonna go um, and also I don't know if I'll do a second demo stream the next fest is going on like all week um, But if there's any games that check your eye if you're looking at the next fest demos send them my way Even if I don't stream them, I'm down to take a look um, ba -ba -ba. All my knowledge of Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad comes from Tumblr? No. That would give you a very skewed... Just... It, it, taking in Breaking Bad through memes alone would give you a very interesting idea of what that series is about. Uh, thank you. E exactly, Raz. To you and yours. Hello, Sean. Have a look. Have a look. I don't know what you're talking about here. Killy, you, you recommended me some very interesting games, and I appreciate it. I mean, one of the recommendations, Killy, from my way, just the, the 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 why play this was just a bunch of question marks, and they themselves were like, uh huh. It was, I the trailer told me nothing about the game. It had a lot of eyeballs and like a television. I'm like, seems neat. I'm just, we'll see. Anyway, the uh, the 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 the. Anyway, uh, uh, what happened between streams? Wouldn't you like to know so I can play some video games on? The street I is a recap of sorts and way to experience the show. Oh, breaking, breaking bad. But the AI, I I did want to check out that stream. I just haven't. It's not a fun show. No, <laughs> it's a very good show. Not a very fun show, uh, which is why the memes are great. I did play Scrabble last night on Stod's channel. S shout out to the city of Stod. He's been doing a bunch of game show nights. We had a great time. We played the Scrabble game show. Which is not really like the board game, except that there's words and letters. Uh, but it was fun. It was a really good time. Definitely recommend checking out the VOD. Um, they're on Stod's 
Twitch as well as he said he might be opening up uh, or, or starting a, a, a YouTube VOD archive channel, which I think should either be called City of VODs or, or, or Stod's VODs. I hope he takes one of those. But uh, anyway, uh, no one said anything weird and it was a nice normal time. Uh, but yeah. There we go. Thanks, Cam. If you if you use the demos, let me let me put that in the stream title. Ba, 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 ba. Hmm. When the little clicky noises in my brain make a noise, uh, de demos. There you go. That links you to a thing the game put together. Thanks, Cam. As well as links to all the other stuff. No, I didn't have a meltdown. Everything's fine. What are you talking about? Anyway, um, so uh, a bunch of these games were recommended. Uh, Bellatro. I'll go through the games and what they are quickly uh, once I'm about to start um, playing a game. Uh, Bellatro was recommended by Solemn. Beastie Ball was recommended by Solemn and a Doodle. Berserk Boy was recommended by Smash Mouth 202 and Anonymous. Duck Detective was recommended by Twisty Poto and Killy. Haunty was recommended by Wiremouse. Pepper Grinder was recommended by Solemn. Um, Kerndle recommended Space Truck, and I'm assuming that that was Star Trucker, because this was a game that showed up at some event, some game announcement thing, and I was like, this looks neat, this looks rad. So, um, I wanted to check it out anyway, but I'm hoping that that was the one we're talking about. And Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip, which I'm glad, if I go through these in alphabetical order, I'm glad this is last, because this game looks fucking wild. Um, this was recommended by Elgron Killy. Thanks for that. Where's Duck Detective versus Frog Detective? I hope we get that crossover someday. Did get more recs? Well, I mean, it, they are demo recommendations. I suppose it's different than a... How many times we're we going overtime? Oh, we have a prediction. They're, never. I, I Can I predict? I don't know if I'm allowed to predict. Uh, also, in between stream, there were some subs and resubs from Cremated Cube, Hessek, Waggle Dance, The Peepus, Antennae, Neb Crazy, Goblin Pope, Trumpet Wings... Who resub for 37 months and said, Coke shaky. Thank you. Definitely not a say. Thanks for 33 months. That's three threes. This is a good amount of time. Computer, thanks for four and a half years. Enjoy your key card. I attend away from a Commodore or Donkey Kong. Get there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mana. Thanks for 17 months. I have no joke here. Thanks for being you, Barry. Always bring a smile and a bright light in dark times and occasional gremlin energy in the background while I'm doing other stuff. And that's nice, too. I really appreciate Enki. I'm doing my best out here. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, I continue. I hope to continue scamping on the internet. Thank you. Prithiana, thanks for three years. Enjoy your Oki. Dry Dry Oasis, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Senator Serbot, thanks for 100 bits. What makes me a good demo stream? I don't know. What does make you a good demo stream? QNML, thanks for 49 months. Mondo Dodongo, thanks for soup. Have some soup on this rainy day. It is a bit wet out. Uh, Anonymous gifted a sub to Hammer Time 8. For the third month. Thank you, Anon. Hope you enjoy the emails. Welcome back. You think I can read? Uh, Timmy Breckett, thanks for 43 months. And so another month drifts by and another wrinkle forms. And the days go by. Water flowing underground. Pin it back. Thanks for gifting a sub to Crimson Aether. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Game fan, thanks for 23 months. Jacob Megan, thanks for 69. I threw BCS in the rec doc for you. You threw better calls on the rec... Thank you. Uh, Master Bones, thanks for 42 months. Enjoy your doki. Snarky Stefan. Hello. Oh, hi there. Hollow Night Voice. Demo, demo. Demo, demo, demo. Demo, demo, demo. Thanks, Reb, for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. We're just getting started over here. Welcome. Uh, we're going to be playing 12 video game demos over here on Twitch.com. Uh, one of them, I actually know Reb played. Hunty. And apparently, everyone was yelling about this after Reb played it. So we're going to take a little peek at that a little bit later. Thank you. Do I plan to check out the FF7 Rebirth demo on your own time or play the full game? They're doing a demo? This is how I find out. Uh, I'm not planning on doing any pre-release FF7 Rebirth. Um, but uh, I'm I'm probably going to do... I'm probably going to do at least one stream of Rebirth. I don't know yet if I want to commit to doing a full playthrough on stream or not. FF7 Remake was a pretty big game, and Rebirth looks to be much bigger. If I'm having a great time, and, and the chat is like, fuck yeah, this is rad, we're not sick of this, maybe. I'm not ruling it out. Um, the, the thi There's a couple things that concern me. One is the game might just be absolutely gargantuan, because it seems to be like semi-open world. 
kind of running parallel with the original game. Uh, and also, um, that game's like 500 gigabytes, and I pre-ordered a physical copy. So if I stream at launch day, it'll be me on my PS5 home screen installing the game off the disc for like five hours before I get to play anything. So if people want that, we can talk about that too. But so I'm like, ah, we'll see. I don't know. That's for me in a couple weeks to think about. So Para gets a Nibelheim much sooner. I mean, as a flashback, I, 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 I believe the theory that the game's just going to start with the Nibelheim flashback. But in terms of getting there... That would be weird if they did it earlier, but I mean they're clearly mixing up a lot of stuff. But anyway, download stream. Yeah. But what? It's it's not that it's it's what is it like 150 gigabytes? FF7 rebirth size. It's 150 gigabytes to install. So I don't know how big it is on disk once it's fully installed, but it's not 500 gigs. We're not there yet with games. Yet we will get there, but um. This is the main story is the same length as a remake of 40 Hours of Dull Side Quest. It's going to be 120 plus. Jesus. So, yeah, we'll see. If I do a full stream. Play, I mean, I had, I had a lot of fun playing through remake on stream. Don't get me wrong. And especially now that I've played through the original, I have a better sense of what to expect. Um, whereas with remake, I thought if I just play the original Midgar section, I'll have all the context I need to play remake, right? and Nomura started cackling in the distance. So now I've played all of FF7, I'm kind of tempted to rewatch Advent Children because I watched that years and years and years ago having not played FF7 and that was a weird time. And I'm like, is this going to be important now? It might be important now. Uh, also might just be fun to rewatch it and just be like, wow, this is wild. So yeah. Can devs learn to scale down? Is that so hard? No, games must be bigger. Advancements in technology must be lockstep with what we ask of that technology. So games get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and less and less sustainable. And they're charging like $100 for video game. Uh, make the forever game, yeah. Kind of started to make sense to me after the fifth, fifth watch. Okay, that's good. Spirits Within! I kind of, I, I legit, my, uh, growing up we would go to uh, a Blockbuster or Hollywood video and rent movies. Because that's the thing you used to do, you used to go to a place and be like, I'm going to watch this later. Um, and we would, as a family, we'd go, go rent movies and stuff. And we rented and watched as a family, as a family unit, we gathered around the television and popped in a DVD of Spirits Within. And I don't remember much of that experience, but I don't think any of us were like, woo, that was great. In hindsight, it's like, wow, what a what an interesting time. Anyway, uh, honestly, not terrible. I mean, maybe not. It just was not what anyone was really expecting, I guess. Um, uh, is Hulk Baldwin in that? What the fuck? Anyway, uh, 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 Game Fan, thanks for 23 months. Jacob Bacon, thanks for 69. Uh, Master Boxes, thanks for 42. Snarky Stefan, 63. Raz the Rue, thanks for a year. Oh no, I'm still here. You say, handing me a prime sub. Thank you for that. Uh, Boingri, thanks for 28 months. Win Slash, thanks for 14 bits. I don't think there's any Win Slashes in this game, but thank you. Warfi, thanks for 57 months. Woo! Next fest. Coke Shaky. Be careful! If you shake up that Coke too much, it may be liable to explode. Lane Babe, thanks for 51 months. Boy, howdy, is that number of months in Viz okay? Also recommended a game called Paco on the forum. Would highly recommend checking out the Steam page. I did look into it. I decided not to stream it. Uh, it seems to be like a meta game about game development kind of stuff, which seems neat, uh, but I decided not to stream it. That actually reminds me that someone recommended during last stream or stream before, there's a free PS5 game about kind of like interactive game design thing. It's free. It's like half an hour. I'm blanking on the name of it. It was interaction isn't explicit. Yeah, there's three PS5 games now. Um, Tribes 3 dropped open alpha. Nice. Um, movie I watched once as a kid. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, I'll keep it very brief, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's called interaction isn't explicit and it's black and white and you run through and the, the, the developer of the game has little pop-ups that are like, here's things about game design. And I love the idea of it. I have a lot of issues with the execution of it, but I hope they make more. Uh, I can get into more of it if people want, but uh, the, the entire point is that it's talking about types of interaction and then giving you playable examples, which I'm like, that's rad. Um, especially doing it for free is really cool. Um, but the entire point is that they're talking about different types of interaction. Now, some interactive systems, like if you're playing a game, like an example I could think of would be uh, Breath of the Wild, where climbing is very direct and interactive. You walk into a wall and you start climbing it. A game like Uncharted is very contextual. It's very explicit in the context of, of this vernacular that I talk about, where 
you walk up and it's like, this is a part of the wall you can climb. It's not as interactive, if that's like a spectrum you can think of. Um, or like having a dedicated grab button versus you walk up and a thing pops up that says, now I can interact with this thing. So it's an interesting idea to talk about that in a game and have you run around, but they don't really do anything with it. They just kind of talks about stuff in a way that I'm someone who's studied a lot of game design and read a lot of stuff over the years. So he wa I wasn't learning anything new, which I'm fine with for the record. This is a great song for me to ramble about this real quick. Um, but uh, one game I run, uh, I don't know which one you're talking about. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, the um, well, was I my brain just exploded everywhere. So uh, oh, so so as you're going through, he's explaining these different things and types of interaction and being like, hey, like here's a little mock-up of a scene where you can walk through and, and talk to this guy and, and do this thing. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm like, that's neat. But it seems like it's it's like this is it's not quite baby's first game design, but it's like a very simplistic like introductory. It's meant to be a very introductory level thing. But at the same time, the dev is giving examples and explaining them and then going. It's also like this thing in Bioshock or this thing in Far Cry or this thing in Sekiro in a way that implies you have existing knowledge of these games. And I'm like, who who is this for then? Is it for someone because he talks about this thing in, in Bioshock Infinite? and builds a little mock-up of what that scene is in Bioshock Infinite. I'm like, great. And then he's like, oh, it's just like how in Sekiro it's like this and Far Cry it's like this without an example. I'm like, I thought the whole point was you're building it as an example. So it just feels like you need to have existing knowledge to understand what he's saying entirely at some point. So it's like, oh yeah, that's so, yeah. A better version of this is the video Context Sensitivity by Matthew Matosis. If you're interested in the idea of context, sensitive, context sensitivity in games or interactivity in an explicit sense, Go watch Matthew Matosis' videos. All of his videos are great, but that one is just like, it's very dense, so take your time with it. But it's very good. Um, but yeah, and also, this the last thing I'll say is that this game turns into a third-person shooter, and I thought it was gonna do a bit, or like, do like do some tweaks to be like, this is a third-person shooter that's more explicit. This is a third-person shooter that has like, glory kills, where there's an interactive prompt, and then this thing happens. But it's just kind of a not very good third-person shooter, where like, you have to get a headshot, and then knock them down or get three body shots, knock them down, and then you melee them for ammo or you headshot them for health. But you can only hold seven shots, so you constantly need ammo, but you can hold seven shots in reserve, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to reload. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm not stupid. Well, I'm, I'm kind of stupid. I'm not that stupid. I'm trying every button. The game never told me how to reload, but I can see a big seven in the corner and I'm clicking the button and nothing's working. So I was having to melee dudes to get ammo back and I was dying. And also it's all black and white, so they kind of blend in the background. It's just kind of like, the game was better when it was just purely focused on like design and showing you these interactive examples. So all that in a nutshell, so the one person that said, check this out, seems like you're kind of jam. It is my kind of jam. I just want to, I want them to keep making this and iterating on this idea. It's a very cool concept. I just have a lot of issues with, I think they need to have a clearer focus on who it's for, whether or not you have X level of game knowledge going in and also make it not have skill checks part way through. I mean, maybe you can run through, but some areas you literally have to clear out enemies in order to get through them. Anyway, the game, I, I think it's called um, uh, Interaction Isn't Explicit. Let me let me just Google it real quick. -da -da -da. Yeah, that's it. I got it. I mean, the, the, the vibe is red it's it's got a very cool distinct art style with this like hatching black and white aesthetic but you can see like you have to run around and shoot dudes and i'm like i'm fine with you just telling me about video games that's cool too um so anyway i'll stop rambling about that now and play a video game um ba -ba -ba. exploding crayon art thanks for soup time for soup uzagati uzagitan twelve seventeen. thanks for four and a half years thank you so much uh roy thanks for eight same as it ever was. Boogaboo, thanks for eight. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. We're going to play a video game. Snow Beetle, thanks for 60 months. Enjoy your Kiwiki. That's a lot of months. My 10th sub-month, I wish to bring back sexagesimal number systems. Sexagesimal? Reb, thanks for 17 months, as well as the raid. Thanks for the prime. Wow. Shoutouts to Reb. Reb's vibes are immaculate. Go follow Reb. My oldest man, thanks for 63 months. Smash, thanks for 100 bits. No, you're not a social media person, but I felt like sharing blue skies now. Open to the public, not invite code required. It's a nice place. Hasn't gotten the shit yet. 
it'll happen. Thank you. Uh, I didn't know that Blue Sky was open. I don't currently plan on making a Blue Sky, but uh, if I do, I will yell about it. There's one demo actually that can also be your jam. What's that? There's a there's a there's a demo jam. I'm a blue. Um, and also thanks for 16 bits. Berserk Boy looks badass. How, really looking forward to this launch. I met the dev at an event a couple years ago, and was like, this game seems rad. And he was like, yeah, it is. And I was like, oh. Uh, 51, thanks for 46 months. Welcome back. Thanks for the prime. I appreciate it. Um, sexadecimal is like hexadecimal, but the six and nines are extra cool. They wear little sunglasses. Um, anyway, let's, let's play some video games. Um, so, uh, what we got here is, uh, a handful of, uh, games that I'm going to check out. Uh, we have, um, Bellatro, which is like a solitaire, but neater than that. We'll see. I, I, I might, I, I, so I almost streamed this demo a couple next fests ago and decided there were too many other games that were a little bit more like exciting for lack of a better word, but I decided to give another uh, uh, go this time around. Um, Cause this seems a thousand percent my jam. I just, with these streams, I'm trying to find games that I think look neat and also I think will be fun to watch. There's definitely demos that I'm like, this looks rad, but not, it would be me staring at a screen silently and clicking on stuff, which Maybe people want to watch that, but I, I, I have more fun when I can be more animated and excited about it. Um, thank you for the bits. Um, Beastie Ball is a Pokemon volleyball game. I backed the Kickstarter uh, because even though it's Pokemon but blank is not usually my, my jam, uh, the developers of this game are people that have worked on... Um, what are they called? Uh, Chicory as well as... What's the singing one? It's on the tip of my tongue where you're a bard and you have a little color wheel where you sing about Wander Song. Thank you. Um, Wander Song and uh, Chicory, uh, those devs are also doing this. Uh, and it looks rad. Um, so yeah, Marriage Story, that's the one. Poma Blank isn't my favorite genre. Me neither. That's why I'm excited to check it out. Cause I'm like, I trust these devs to be like, we're not just doing the easy choice to do like a Pokemon game. So I'm like, I, I, I want to see what else is in there. Hopefully in 20 minutes, I can get a vibe from it. Berserk Boy is a side-scrolling Mega Man-ish jam. Should be neat. Crypt Custodian is, I think, a Metroidvania? Um, yeah, that looks like a Metroidvania. Um, a lot of these I have like one minute on because I booted up and was like, I want to make sure that this uh, won't blow out everyone's speakers. Um, look, the art looks super charming. Excited to see what else is in there. Crypt Master, I almost don't want to share anything about it because I had never heard of it. This is one of the games that I found just plumbing through the next fest. It is a black and white first person old school dungeon crawler, the kind where you press forward and it like moves you forward a square in the room. Um, and it's all text based where you're typing in like attacks and spells and things and it just seems very weird. And maybe a little spooky? I, it seemed more silly than actually spooky. The screenshots made it seem more, like, actually horror adjacent. But the little bit I played was like, this is hilarious. So uh, we'll see. Uh, very excited for that, though. Uh, Duck Detective, The Secret Salami. I shouldn't have to say anything more than the title, but I've also heard comparisons to Oberdin slash uh, Case of the Golden Idol, which I'm like, if this is a silly game that actually makes me think about stuff in terms of solving a mystery, I am, I am so there. Uh, Flock is, I think it's published by Annapurna and showed up during their Annapurna Direct. I forget what they're calling it. Thanks for the hydrate. Um, I know very little about the game other than when they revealed it, you seem to be in an open multiplayer world with these weird birds and you can yell at the birds and they can follow you. And I, I am just, I'm down for whatever it is. I don't know how it'll work as a demo or as a game. Haunty, I know even less about. I just remember when Reb streamed it, a bunch of people came over, were yelling at me to play it. But Wiremouse was the only one that put in the rec doc, just saying. Uh, but I'm excited to check that as well. Pacific Drive is a, a game, it's it's my summer car, but apocalyptic. Uh, you're trying to build a car and fix it, but also the whole world is exploding and trying to kill you. Um, I don't know if there's like zombies and stuff or what, I don't remember, but it just seemed neat. So my summer car, basically. Star Trucker is a space trucker sim. And Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip is good. So let's start with Bellatro and work our way down the line. Off for Cyber, thanks for 100 bits. If you managed to burn through these demos real fast, the devs that made Snipper Clips have a new game called Crow Country. Yeah, Super Flash Bros. 
I tell I considered streaming the demo, decided not to. Uh, but it does, does seem neat. And yeah, yeah. I, I remember watching those dudes' animations on Newgrounds a billion years ago. It's so cool to see how far they've come. Uh People have been playing and grinding the Beast Ball demo, they're working on a change to the game structure that lets you just go for the ending early if you get too powerful. That's neat. I miss Pepper Grinder. My bad. Pepper Grinder. Why I skip over that? Pepper Grinder is published by Devolver out soon-ish. Some of these are out soon-ish. Um and uh it seems to be it, it, it seems to be they took the digging mechanic from a couple side-scrolling games. I can think uh, Ori uh, Ori has one like that. Rayman Legends has one like that where you're like ca carving your way through some bits of terrain. Uh, and they made that into a whole thing. Super Flash Bros made snipper clips? Yes. Yes, they did. SFB Games stands for Super Flash Bros. They made a bunch of games. Um, Flash was going to be out with a couple months. Uh, yeah, I, I, as we go through, I can be hopping through and, and checking them out and seeing when stuff is out. Um, and also, again, the demos command, the Moobot command, will pop up a thing that games filled out with links to everything. If you're watching the VOD on YouTube, there's links in the description, but if you're watching live... Hi, thanks for tuning in live. Let's play some fucking video games. We're gonna start with Blotro. We're gonna check this out for a little bit. Play some cards. We're gonna, we're gonna start with something that seems... This isn't even a very normal card game, but this is gonna be, I think, a little bit tame in comparison to some of the stuff later. Uh, but I'm very excited about uh, those. Um, hello, video game. It is synchronizing with the cloud. You know, I really like when... There's no save data, but then Steam's like, hold on! I can't launch the game yet. I still got to think about some stuff. And I'm like, I... What? Huh? Who? Chain of Memories. Just like it. There we go. Oh, yep. Hi. We're over here now. What's up? I hacked your account. Did you give me all the save data of all Steam? I love the idea of cloud saving, except when it's like every time I launch a game, it says not synchronized properly. Yeah. Yeah. A really weirdly bad one is Power Wash Sim. That game in particular, I think because of the way the save data is stored, um, is just massive. <laughs> because it's like, if you have any in-progress save data, it's like, okay, where's the dirt in this entire level? So it takes a long time to cloud save. Uh, but anyway, let's play some Bellatro. Let me, let me double check. Whoop. Just wanna, I, uh, uh, unless Gam, if you wanna take a look. I don't know if you're around all stream Gam, um, but I wanna be checking to updates category on Twitch if these games are in the database. Blotra is in there. Red. Checking whether you lost all your data in case I appreciate it. That's fine. Probably the next three hours. Nice. Let me know. Um, let's play some Blotra. Public key. Thanks for 22. My key is three. I submitted a ticket request to Twitch, and I was like, can I have the number three? And they're like, yeah. Let's play some Blotro, go! Um, yep, yeah, up, uh, yeah, when I click over, it's gonna, there we go, hi. Play, put me in. Three plays this huge videos, but they're so crunchy. Um, choose your next blind. Put me in. Oh, I wonder, oh, real quick, because I did play a little bit of this when the demo existed a few, the next fest ago, like, can I? Yeah, maybe, maybe I think, because I think there was tutorial stuff. How about now? I just want to make sure I'm not, I could have sworn, it's been a long time since I put it. Um, let's just make a new profile. Does that work? Wasting time, I would never. We can just figure it out. Um, choose next blind. I'm small blind. All right. I got my cards. Ace of diamonds. Plus chips. Remind, remind me. View deck. That's cards. Chips. Schmoll. Uh. High card. Play hand. Trying to see if I can figure out how the game works because I don't think it's giving me the tutorial again. Uh, what about, uh, um, discard? Am I trying to make a deck? Let me see. Can I get, like, uh, discard these? I have 
discards left. Did I skip tutorial? I didn't think so. Did I start a new profile? Hi, Stod. I I did. I did make a new a new profile. Um, I, three. There's nothing here. Hi. Create profile. New profile. Nothing here. I could have sworn it walked me through this, but it's been like a year or year and a half. So I'm like, I remember this game being really neat, but I'm currently like, huh, what? Try putting tutorial as the seed? Where is that? It's poke rules. You want to score as many points, better hands of higher multipliers. You can play five hands of this card three times. You want to exceed the blind target. Got it. Options. Settings. Uh, um, this has happened a couple times with some of these demos where I boot it up and it has a one-time tutorial that never plays again and I'm like, but wait, I was just testing to make sure it worked. Uh, reset. So it's poker, but you, uh, cool. Cool. Okay, hey, okay, all right. What if I put in new run? Um, there we go. And then... Oh, there's different decks. I'm doing a very poor job showing off why this game is neat. Tutorial. No, okay. So the small blind score at least 300 chips. We're figuring it out. So I want to put together a hand as well as discard and draw. And I have three discards. So... What if I go for like a... I don't know. Let's discard these. Um, I got a, a two of a kind. Um, what if I throw out? Well, well, I almost have a flush. You figure out? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, the polish in this game is next level. Um, sort by suit. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah, because we have these four hearts here. Um, I'm going to just throw this. I'm going to go fishing for... I don't know what. Hmm. I chose poorly. Okay, well, we got two pair. Okay, and it updates over here to show you. And I guess that. Play hand. So you get points for those, based off of their value as well. I'm trying to score at least 300. So, okay, I think I'm starting to get it. So uh, now we got, uh, what if I straight flush? Oh, that is a straight flush. Um, yes, please. Sure. You know, you know, sure, why not? It's on fire. Straight flush in it. Okay, I think we beat the small blind now. Yeah, who knew that a straight flush was good? Gotcha. Cash out six dollars. Nice. Okay, yeah. So I think this guy popped up and was like explaining how it worked, but I never made it this far. Just casually getting straight flush. Nicely done. Now you're flush with cash. You can buy some new cards from the shop. Try buying this handsome devil. Okay. This is one of the 150 jokers you can add to your run. Every joker does something different. This one has plus four multiplier to every hand you play. Be picky. You can only carry five jokers at a time. I'm the joker. I need to skip the first part of the tutorial. I think it, lo I think it loaded my save from when I played this demo like a year ago. <laughs> and where I like started was like, oh, this seems neat. Okay, let me close it down. And it just never reset that flag. Um... Which is fine. Anyway, now buy the other card from the shop. The Empress enhances two selected cards to molt cards. The tarot card is a consumable. This one will enhance your playing cards. Hold on to it. Consu like you eat the card during the game. You can carry up to two consumable cards with you at a time. If you save up enough, you can buy a voucher. They passively upgrade your run. Oh, look at that, look at that shader. All right. Vouchers are restocked after you defeat the boss blind. And check out both of the booster packs in every shop. They're full of goodies. 
Arcana pack and a Celestial pack. Let's move on to the next round. His collar was a very tiny body. I don't see it. Or selecting the big blind will earn some cash. Or choose to skip it and get a tag. Each tag has a unique effect. Keep an eye on the boss blind. It has an ability you'll need to plan around. If you beat it, then the ante goes up and all blinds become harder. Beat ante 8 to win. Now choose your path. Rerolls the boss blind. Gotcha. Let's go big blind. Score at least 450 chips. When you get more cards, remember you can rearrange them. Joker's trigger in order from left to right. Make sure you use your consumables. Roll it up and eat it. Select up to two cards in your hand and press use on the tarot card to enhance them. Uh, how about these queens? Enhance them. Press use on the tarot to... I can't... How do I... On the tarot, right. Enhance this two select cards to multi... Yeah, that's the... I know how to read it. I thought that was a joker. Whoa! Nice. Um, so we could, we could also, man, man, two pair. Do I have to play five cards? What if I play the Joker? I'm the Joker, baby. Play. So you can play Anna four. No, but you should. Because I guess it's just an extra point you can throw out there. Well, we, we beat the big blind. In one hand. Nice. I call me the gangster of blue. Some people call me Maurice. Improve your run. Converts up to three selected cards to hearts. Level up two pair plus molt and 20 chips. Tarot cards appear two times more frequently. Standard pack. Choose one of up to three playing cards to add to your deck. Choose one up to five playing cards. I want to open it. Give me the gotcha. Oh, baby. A stone card, plus 50 chips, no rank or suit. That's amazing. Choose one. King of clubs, 10 of hearts, plus 10 chips times two multiplier. One in four chance to destroy the card because it's made out of glass. Uh, I want to play the rock. Pick me rock, pick win card. Um, can I the the cards to hearts? Sure, why not? Okay. Uranus? Done. Next round. Okay, the boss. The hook. Discards two random cards per hand played. Let's go. Discards two random cards per hand played. Sure. Um. Um. Uh, well, uh, um. But we could do this like that. Get that in there too. Uh, p play? So he's gonna... So he destroys two hands for... Okay, that makes... I was like, is he gonna destroy my hand? Gotcha. Yippee! I'm not understanding this, but it looks nice. So it's, it's basic poker rules. Which, if you don't know poker, then... I barely even know her. Uh, cash out. Um... I think there's poker hands. So these are different hands you can play in a typical five card poker. There's high card, which is I don't got nothing, but this card's the highest I have. Pair, two of a kind. Two pair, two of two of a kind. Three of a kind. Also, this is the, the ranking from worst score to highest score. A straight is five cards in a row, as in their number increases or their rank. Uh, flush is all five cards have the same suit. There's no connection between the numbers or ranks. Full house is a three of a kind and a pair. So three and a two. Four of a kind is four of a kind. And a straight flush is they're all in order and all the same suit. So I, what I'm what I'm trying to, whoa. Played cards with odd rank give plus 30 chips. Uncommon jokers eat. I don't care for this gentleman. Is his name Jim Joker? <laughs> is, is that what that said? Uh, uh, I, maybe I need that just in my collection in general. Um, sneak peek, card from Jimbo's personal collection available in the full version of Elantra. <clears throat> uh, so, um, okay, for the, uh, yeah, let's go. So what's happening, to the best of my knowledge, is that I'm being shuffled a random assortment of cards from my deck. 
So it's kind of a deck builder, which is not normally how poker works. Um, I'm given these cards, and it's up to me to pick what which ones I want to play in my hand. But it's weird because there's extra modifiers stuff on top. But basically, um, you can see on the left here, it'll pop in. If I just grab the queen, it says high card. So that's my score, and it's five points for some reason, times a level one multiplier, I think is what's going on there. Whereas if I grab two sevens here, it says pair. So it's 10 times two for some reason. Um, but also I can discard cards and try to pull them up. Is it a poker like? I mean, it's more trading card game. So the three of the hearts, you could sort by rank. I don't quite have a straight though, but if I had a straight, well, two pair. Hmm. What if I throw away the nine? Also, this guy stays leveled up, which is pretty neat. Yeah, I, th this is for a very specific type of audience, I think. I'm just going to throw away the nine. I only have a certain number of discards I can do. And it seems to be there's no limit on how many cards you can discard. You can throw out a bunch at once. So what if I do level up two pair, right? Because I have a two pair. Did it, did it, did it do? Was that, did that do? Did it level it up? Okay, I think I, I think I get the scoring a little bit better now. I think as you go picking stuff, it, this is just like, you get five points for a high card. You get 10 points for a pair. Uh, you get 40 points for a two pair. Once you've bought them up, then it adds on to it the, like, this is plus 10 chips because it's a rank 10. This is plus two for two. I think that's how it works. Um, let me see if I can get another two or ten. Let's just throw a bunch of these away. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Full house. Yeah. Bellatro, my boy's actual favorite game right now. Whoa. Nice. Hey, game. Birthday app. Hello. It seems very... It seems very. I'm into it. I, I, I'm I glad I'm getting it now because at first I was like, huh, there's cards. I, I, for, I forgot the tutorial. Cash out. With me. Oh, yeah. Choose one of up to four special cards to be used immediately. Choose one of up to three. Not the discovered. Gains 0.25 molt per playing card added to your deck. I love all the different variations of jokers they have here. Played cards with spade suit give plus four molt when scored. I want it. I want it. Give me the gotcha. Give me the... Give me the box. Destroy one random card in your hand. Add two enhanced aces to your hand. Oh. Add foil, holographic, or polychrome effect to one card in hand. One selected card. So I can pick, like, okay, I want this ace leveled up. Animated Jonker is powerful. Add Polychrome to a random Joker. Destroy all other Jokers. Don't destroy the Joker. Converts all cards in hand to a single random rank minus one hand size. All cards in hand to a single random rank. So all of these cards will become the same rank and I lose a card. I want random enchanted ace. Destroy one random card. Add two enchanted aces. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Fancy. Okay, I have one dollar. Let's go. Big blind. You can't just destroy the jonkler. He gets stronger. Whoa. Ho, ho. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, of course, there's three to hearts. There's three that aren't hearts. Converts up to three selected cards. So can't... What if I... What if I select these three? Does that work? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm cha I'm breaking the game. We got a flush house, baby. We got a flush house. Oh my god. I think we beat the blind. I think we got enough points. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, woo. <laughs> my deck is gonna be nothing but aces by the time I'm done with it. I'm just gonna have nothing but amaze. It's all gonna be aces. And I'm just gonna win every game instantly. That's called a porta potty. A flush. 
A flush house. Uh, molt per tarot card used. Plus one molt per hand played. Minus one molt per discard. Plus one hand size? I can't afford it. Next round. Next round. A flush house is a turlet. Uh, extra large blind. 3,200. Up the... Let's go. The wall, huh? See about that. Um... Uh, um, um, we got two threes, three, four, five. Could we could go fishing for a six and a two? There's nothing really jumping out at me here, though. Um, the wall. Pink Floyd's the wall. I just noticed that the entire screen has a pivot on it as you move the cursor around, which is really satisfying. As you're just kind of subtly moving around. When you do this, it's more dramatic. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Hey, thanks, KO. How are you doing? Thanks for 38 months. That's hot. Flushes DVD box at house. Don't do that. Uh, let's say. Let's say I just throw away everything that I have. In a in a in a poor move that's not gonna pay off. Keep the nine. Okay. Um. Well, you could just this. That's not... We need a very big score, but I should probably start scoring something. So, meow. You know, like meow. Nice. Oh, okay. There we go. We're on the board. Sure. That's fine. Oh, shit. Oh god. Uh fuck. Uh, uh, I really beefed it. I really beefed it with beef bone stew. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna keep fishing for face cards, I guess. Oh Well, that's okay. Um, almost the flush, yeah. I got a little bit of the beef brain. Beef brain in my big brain. Hmm. What are we doing in here? Oh, you can also just mouse over. So is that showing you what's already come up? What's already been played? Or just what you... Bleh, what you have? Hmm. Remaining full deck. I see. So it is showing here. Okay. So by default, shows remaining. Some ball room? No, please don't. Hmm. So I could, I could go fishing for. I have three aces left. I could go fishing for those. I also have a lot of hearts left. So maybe, maybe we just throw out these. This is my last discard, though. This is a bad idea. I did throw away the aces. <laughs> I did throw away the aces because I still had them selected. But, you know, maybe it's okay, because the flush? Uh, meh, good. Listen, we're, 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 we're learning, it's fine, it's fine. What does this guy do again? Uncommon jokers give multiply, but he's a common joker, so this doesn't do anything. But does he count as being more rare? Uh, stone, rock and, can I put him in there too? Hmm. Is this... That gives me 10 points plus the 9 each for 28. This is more chips. So I could also just throw that on top. I think that's more points than the full house. And a multiplier. Am I speedrunning this? Oh god, we're over time. Um, we're not speedrunning, I just have a lot of demos to play. So I'm gonna try to keep myself on target. We lose! Wait! Nah, we lose. <laughs> I was like, math? That's close. Well, we have one more hand to play. Uh, put, put that in there. Let's just in hands. I think I bumbled. I, you know, th th any, any poker expert will tell you, don't throw away all of your aces by mistake onto the ground. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, 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 meh. Yeah. While it stays in hand, though. But doesn't this mean it's in my hand, or does this mean it's in my hand? 
All my ace is gone. I'm bad at the game. Wait, I just keep... Oh, I have one more hand. Oh. I thought that was my last hand. Yeah. Yippee. This game is red. I'm very bad at it. I was having a great time until literally right now. Too, too, I, that's because I put that in. We folded like a cheap suit. Meh. All right. That was Bellatro. I think this game is excellent. I feel like that's the kind of game that could just consume me until I cannot any longer. Uh, this game is out February 20th. That's very soon. That's very soon. We're going to check out Beastie Ball now. Hiya. Oh, yeah. We love a big window. Hey, the cards is consuming. Especially when you can eat the cards. That's the best part. Uh huh. Whoop. Hello. Hi. Is it. Whoop. Oh. Hat. Hey. Call these things been automatically set. Yahoo. Um. Make sure. Gotta put that V-Sync on. My computer loves to do screen tearing as a feature. Okay. Let's. Let's go. Let me. Uh. Da, da, da. Whoop. Sorry about that. Just want to see if... Yes, it's the Wonder Song of Chicory Devs. I backed this game on Kickstarter, knowing nothing about it. Was that a wise investment? Let's find out. Uh, Beastie Ball. Beastie Ball. Don't you dare say Pal World Soccer. Uh, okay, I'll close that and this and those over here. Yeah. Um, I have to start the timer, though, so I have to tab back over... Hello? Why is... Hello? Hello? What? Huh? I'll be in the credits, maybe. Did did live split explode? I can't click on it or drag it or start the timer or anything. Hello? Let me just restart real quick. Get rid of them. Bring them back. New updates are available. I, maybe that's why it's broken. Hey, right, we're back. Yaha! Ronaldinho Power! Go! Begin new- Ooh! Oh! Ooh! 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 Let's go with Sunset as the victory option. Enables option during games to instantly win? Oh! That's rad. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh yeah. I'm vo I voiced the ball, it's true. Oh god, we don't have time. I'm just gonna rain them eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's me! That's what I look like. Uh, pause animation. Nice. Let's go. Finish. Finish! And we'll show them playing online. Bull. It's chill chuck. <laughs> it's a little bit chill chuck coded. Yeah. Also, Lena Rain did the OST to this, if I'm not mistaken. Whoa! Get back here! Get back here, little shit! Hey! Hey! Don't you know kids aren't supposed to be in the preserve? Well, I keep it a secret if you do. <laughs> Look, I found a bunch of beasties here. It's just like on TV. They want to play a game with us. You want to play too, don't you? Which one's on your team? Um, Axolotti, Spirit Focus, likes to power up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ho! Ho! Kitschik, Body Focus, likes to hit the ball. I like the vibe. It's it's got oh a little stretch. It's got like kind of like a bone zone kind of like hanging out. And build it. Mind focus likes passing. Seems very concerned. Gotta go fire type. Play with this. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go. Ooh, I like his little step. Hmm. Let's pretend it's the championship match of the Crown Series. 
I'll be the champion. Coach Marlin, you can be the challenger coach. Two against one. Well, I saw them first. Pretend it's match point and these are the only beasties left. Your Axolotti is up to surf first. Select Axolotti and choose an attack. Barking, um, uh, pep shot. Ball must be served. Attack. Those numbers are estimates how much damage your attack will do. Pick a lane to target. This does more damage. Oh. Bark! I see you're no ordinary challenger! If a beastie hits zero stamina, they'll drop the ball and lose the point. You better get ready, because it's our turn to attack. Your only hope for survival is a wise defense. Turn down the ball, I'm a smidge. Uh, defense. Must have ball to do this. Move to it. Can't be used in back. Move. Beasties run out of boosted power and can use block in the back. Get boosted defense. Let's move up. Shifted. Use dig? Jazzed? Oh no! He's happy about it! Uh-oh. I should have moved over. Crap. If you let the ball hit an undefended area, it's an automatic loss. Guess you actually do need two beasties to play. Whoa, another one! Whoa! Look, it's Spreco. A new beastie shows up at the Crown Series, turning the tide. Do over, do over. They serve. Uh... Um... Let's move, move... Move forward. Get him up in there. Practice shot. Oh, right in the face! Oh, God. It's your turn to attack. Volley the ball to get under control and hit it back. Volley. Free ball. Volley to an opponent and skip your attack can always be used. Basic volley. Careful shot. Target sideways. Oh. Um, that does more damage in the front. Right, because, let, yeah. You, let's hit him in the back. Um, um, block. Block that one. Oh, uh-oh. I chose poorly. Oh, no! I used block. I'm blocking him. Oh! <laughs> look at him getting all squished down! Oh, look at him getting squished down! Uh, volley it, volley it, and boom! Blast him! Build it, runs to the front row. White! A new challenger wins the championship. The crowd goes wild. That's Beastie Ball. Beasties all love to play this. They're basically born for it. And there they go. Bye. My name's Riley, by the way. I never saw another kid in the preserve. You live close by? Want to watch videos with me? I made new best friend. Wait, wait, you weren't paying attention. I'm rewinding. See, that's how Marlin actually won the Crown Series. My family watches every year, but I've never seen a match this epic. And did you know Marlin's from Rutile Town, just like us? It'd be so cool to be a coach like that. Wow. I want to be the best. I want to be the best. Years later. Years! And we never got into Beastie Ball. The end. The heck was that? <laughs> oh, oh. Right button or left stick click the hustle. Oh, oh. I have a Sonic Feet mode. <laughs> Shit. Ah! Okay. Dude, this is a beastie habitat. This ball was our entire childhood. How could you just... There's a beastie ball league project, lady. Take it up with your league rep. I don't know anything. The beastie ball league? Buh, this is serious. It's a, If it's about the league, you better go find Marlin. You're the assistant coach. He'll listen to you. Back in town to the right, in the beastie ball center. 
I better hustle. Root on nature preserve. What's really fun is while you're hustling, you don't have to hold the direction. Like if I just if I just press it, well, you press the direction, and you can just just keep going that way. Oh my God, it's Woody. League's taking the preserve. Guess what was bound to happen? Ain't the hot shop Beastie Ball town we used to be. Now we're just a loser town of losers. Uh huh. That ruckus came from the preserve I just ran through there this morning. The best is when beasties start running along with me. But sheesh, those beasties may not even have homes now. Oh no. Not the beasties. Welcome to the preserve. The rock arm for you scale model the entire preserve, which you can enter just ahead. Pick up after yourself. A rare sight, Spreckle is one of the rarest beasties. They're an endangered species. I can zoom. Zoom. Look at them. Okay. All right. Cool. I can't believe this. First they show up and cut down a preserve, and they frickin' they block the way out of town. That's so unnecessary. I swear they're just trying to remind us we can't jump. Damn. Problems with the league? Nothing to worry about. The Root Rootel All Stars used to be champs. The league wouldn't mess with us. Coach Bob would just come back and play a big Beastie Ball match to save the preserve. It's been so long. The Rail House. Well, howdy! Welcome to the Rail House! Twenty dollars to rest, that's all my money. See ya. Whoa! The center! Hello? I love the sound it makes when you start to zoom. I gotta, I gotta crank it up. That makes me happy. Alright, uh... Bam. Something something jet bike potion. Oh my god. Lena found the most burp 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 trumpet that exists. It's Coach Marlin! Pearl number six. This 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 screams GameCube Animal Crossing to me in a really good way. Where'd you get that tutor, Lena? <laughs> Buh! This is like 3 a.m. Animal Crossing GameCube music. Want to head a ball around? Ugh, some kind of league project in the reserve. That must be... Um... Something I have no idea about. Okay, I believe you. No, I gotta come clean. Also, Rolling Ping-esque? Could be. That was a pin close enough attention. The truth is, the Beastie Ball League is building a stadium over our preserve. I tried to protest it with them, but we don't exactly have sway in the league these days. And whose fault is that? You yeah, get him. Maybe you were the champ years back, but our league standing sucks now. And that means the league does whatever it wants to us. We're in this mess because you gave up on winning. I hate to say it, but we need a new Beastie Ball coach. Someone fresh, exciting, who might actually try sometimes. Such as Buh! Buh, they don't even have Beasties. The assistant coach? They're just a kid. Rude, we're not kids anymore. Buh and I grew up around Beasties our entire lives. I know they can do this. We have to try something, right? Marlin? Buh, take these. I got two jerseys. Jerseys are made of something special to beasties. If a beastie accepts one from you, then you'll be teammates. It's not usually that simple, but... Oh, well, maybe you can find some friendly ones around? All the beasties fled the reserve when that machine came through. You might have to go north from here. I'm sure you can find a team out there. I'm off. Yeah. Jerseys are pokeballs? It's, hey, join my team. I was also thinking that... The structure of them having a volleyball match instead of actually fighting. Because it's one thing that's like, Pokemon has wrestled for years with like, no, 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 they fight because they love fighting. And also they don't die, they faint. But it's all in good fun, haha. Like, it's stuff like that and being like, they're, they're playing a game. 
And when they're knocked out, they've lost their stamina and they drop the ball and you win a point. Is like, that just solves every problem that Pokemon has. The only one that's left is like, how much free will do they have? Like, they were born to play volleyball. Maybe that's fine. Like, whatever. I don't care. I'm fine with Pokemon just being animal fights. Like, it's fine. But yeah, I don't know. It's just like really smart theming, I guess. Because most Pokemon inspired things are just like, yeah, they're fighting. I don't know, this is kind of neat. Um, the beasties are restless because of the construction. They're not allowing humans through right now. Oh, they noticed your jerseys. They think you must be a coach. Looks like they might let you go on after all. Get yeah, welcome. Look at this baby. They look embarrassed. They're already on a Marlins team. You should know they're on a team because they have a number. They're flattered that you asked, though. Seems you can go on ahead. Ball shroom. They naturally growing volleyballs in these woods. Oh, I like the red one. Eh. Oh, they're playing with it. Oh, they're playing with the ball. They're looking at you intently. Join my team. You got the moves, kid. They don't seem too sure about that. But what about you? Uh, they're wondering where the rest of your team is. Uh, you are the team. They want to see your other beasties first. God damn. These birds. They're sort of annoyed. Oh, the stick. They can't think about that right now. What if I added... Second ball! Think fast! Oh my god, they're good! Oh, they dropped one. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my... They can actually kind of juggle multiple balls a little bit. Uh... I can't jump. No. Hi. You want to play Beastie Ball? They want to play a game first so you don't have a team. I, I'm trying to build a team. They're confused to see you here right now. Hello. While the reserve is half missing, they seem to have bigger problems. Damn it. Do you know what engine this game is made in? Uh, I believe it's Game Maker, based off of the executables logo. Oh, yeah! He looks familiar. These beasties recognize you too. They're the same ones that played with you all those years ago. They know you're here because of the preserve. They want to team up with you. You give them each a jersey and... Oh, no. Oh, no. His name's not Axolotti. It's, um... Uh, uh, um... Um... Uh, Ax... Nuzlocke? No. Um... I uh, could name him Round. Could name him Round. He's quite Round. Axel Kingdom Hearts, I was actually thinking that game. Once you know. Axel Full Rotund. Round. Ask a lottie. His name's Rammed. Edit number. He's number one. He's number one, baby. View Deets. He's rude. Sound. Their vibe to find they express themselves on the interact with their beasties doesn't impact stats or overall strength. Thank you, devs. I, I, it will forever perplex me how complicated Pokemon is with all its hidden stats and shit. <laughs> like, oh, their vibe determines everything about how they level up. It's like, I, I don't, man, I just want to find a guy that looks neat. That's all. Um, reserve player? No, oh, no, continue. Spreco. Um, this is, this is, uh, shit, we don't have time. Um, uh, uh, uh. Liz, Lizard, uh, Sprungus, Scramble, let him say fuck. How about his name is just fuck? Okay, yeah, great. His number is, um, yeah, also number one. This number is currently in use. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, can I just name them all number one? Uh, I don't want to do 69, it's fine. Number two, number two. Yeah, you're now a coach. The hands on the phone is a lot of fun detail. I didn't even notice. We have a goddamn flip phone. It actually is like up down when I'm when I'm doing when I'm doing, he's also doing. Up, 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 down, down, down. Right? Left. Shit. It's real. It's really real. Fuck! Hi. Now you have a team running into a wild beast team like this means you want to play. 
Uh, get him. Hit him with a pep shot. Right into his face. He runs to the front row. Pow. He receives the pep shot. He's almost dead. Uh, defense. Let's... Let's move fuck up to the front row. Use the bump. Oh, but I'm there for it. Let's go. Offense. <laughs> Look how squished down he gets. Uh, volleyed over. And hit him with another shot. Take him out. Get him. Boom. Wiped. Sugar. Yippee. Victory. We did it. Do you want to join my team? Hello. Uh, him with a pep. Pep to the saffron. Defense. Uh, you can move it up. Jeer. No, my strength. Don't listen to him, round. You're very round. Oh, get there, get there, get there. Get it easy, receive. Let's go. Huge moves. And uh, let's volley it over to Fuck, who's gonna slam him with a careful shot. Bam. Pow. And this game is good. This is a very good. I'm into it. Uh, you're fine. Why don't you block? Block Rookie. Don't listen to him. Fuck, you're great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're blocking. We're blocking. I was blocking the wrong guy, but it's fine. Easy receive. Good. Great. All right, take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Blast him. Boom. Level up. Increase pow. And thing. Yeah! Fuck, learned new play, refresh! Volley heals? I have a healer in my volleyball team. So that makes them want to fight me. Oh, because I only have the two jerseys, don't I? I was like, how come I can't try to recruit them? I think it's because I only have... Only have the two. Okay, we, we need to wrap up. Um... Uh... Hello. You actually pulled a team together. Guess there's no turning back now. Break challenge versus Marlin. Match scheduled for a later date. Being the coach for this town was my dream come true. If you really want to take that from me, well... Guess I'll see you in there. I don't want this to end. Well, you better go wishless beastie ball. On Steam. Yippee. Make sure to say you don't believe when you can. Well, we have to wrap up. Also, uh, 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 yeah. I gotta believe. Yeah, we gotta switch the next game. Sorry about that. But it's neat. I have no regrets giving them some amount of money. I forgot how much I gave them. Really good starter. I, I just, yeah, I, it seems obviously poke inspired very clearly, but uh, some, I, from the five seconds I saw, it seems very cute. I like the, uh, um, I like the, the reframing of Pokemon. I like that it's still turn-based. I don't know. It seems neat. I, I definitely want to see more. That's, uh, Beastie Ball, and it is out sometime later this year. Why is it not on my wish list? I think because I already gave them money and just didn't. But, next up is Berserk Boy. Berserk Boy. Berserk Boy. Hiya. So kind of mons. Oh yeah, this game's got some art. This game's got some pixels in it too. Sweet. The tours do not dynamically update based on key bindings.
Look at that bird's hair. All right. I got to start the timer. Yeah. Put me in. Uh, eh. Infinite retries. Yeah. Oh, he's fine. Ah, Fiore, what's happening to me? My robot jams. Concentrate, K. Oh man, I can feel my nerves buzzing. Not now. Wow. Just as I feared, the security's been taken out. Now there's nothing stopping Dark Energy from overrunning the city. I can't stop shaking. Okay, I know you can do this. The orbs react to your emotions. Send yourself. Take a deep breath. I need you to merge with the orb again. You know what to say, right? Come on, Kay. You can do this. Mash the Y button. I'm, I was mashing the... Whoa! Go berserk! Amazing stuff, you know? Amazing stuff. It really worked. This feels good. Take this. Let's go find Dizzy. Collect red health orbs to increase your health when you've taken damage. Sting at checkpoints restores health to max. Energy refills over time. Collect blue orbs to fill up energy faster. So nobody has to find your energy. Yellow is uh, orbs and defeating enemies fill up your berserk meter. Berserk does not fill up automatically. Berserk icons should appear when you have enough berserk to do a special attack. Make sure to use your berserk ability to dish out major damage. Cool. And down. Sure. Welcome to New Hope. Are you an enemy or are you a friend? Hey, what's up? Hey, you okay there? Resistance. Oh my god, we saved him. Oh, that was a tutorial in the background that I was paying attention to. Welcome. To Hey, chat, look, it's the Coke Shaky. It's right there. That's the Coke you're shaking. Uh, huh? Dash an enemies to tag and unleash havoc on your foes. If the trail is blue, press B to strike tagged enemies with lightning. We've launched an enemy in the air, press A to super jump. Be sure to keep an eye on your berserk moves in the bottom left of the screen. L plus... Is that... Ball. Ball. Shit. Okay. Act. Shit. I'm going to die. Down an A. Wait, wait. Yeah, get him! Hey, what's up? You okay there? Haha. -ha. Thank you. Whoa! Hey, hey! I don't think so. Uh, yeah. What, huh? Wait, there was stuff. This thing. Save the others. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. I see. Okay. Starting to figure it out. I've seen this game before, but it's the first time I've actually had hands-on time with it. So you sort of build up little mini combos as you go. Hey, you okay there? I got you. Oh. Yeah. You good? He's good. Eh. Me. This looks useful. Better head to a teleporter. 
I need help. There we go. Hi, you okay? Leave for back man. I thought those were help. <laughs> I just saw red. I saw there were little red things. I didn't even look at them. Thanks for the checkpoint. Ooh. All right. Buh. No. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Nice. Uh, what's up here? Oh, I don't have an ability I need. I want to dig. Shit, I <laughs> keep hitting that for mistake. Yeah. Got him. All right. There's hell. Sheesh. Um. Um. Hmm. I either don't have what I need or something. Buh. I want the buh. What am I to do without the buh? Seems like a very satisfying game to go fast in once you know what you're doing. But I still am figuring it out. Yeah. You okay there? Also something that's required a little bit of getting used to is the uh nice the the jump arc like they really want you to be dashing everywhere which is rad You're just having to be like right trying to get a sense for it uh -huh. right Nope. Yee. Reminds me of Gravity Circuit. Oh, yeah. I mean, in terms of being Mega Man inspired. Um, this seems to have a more... I don't know. I'm trying to compare to Gravity Circuit. I'm like, they're both rad and they're both like Mega Man, but they both feel distinct to me while still being Mega Man likes. Not just the aesthetic. Yeah, I don't think I get those. Um, actually, she's more like Mega Man X. I, yes, I include X when I say Mega Man. Eh. Oh. Yeah, it's like doing that kind of stuff and chaining it together feels really good. I also like that it's a very melee focused, like I don't really have any range right now, but it doesn't feel like a brawler. It feels very snappy and energetic. It's neat. I could see the mighty justice call getting old, though, <laughs> because I'm not very far into it. I'm already hearing it a lot. 
Yeah, no, it feels really good. Woo! Justice. Oh, perfect. Now I'm over here. Warning. Oh, yeah? Hello. Help, somebody help us. More shades. We got this, Kay. Let's take them out. Let's find out what you got. I was going to say, that can't be everything. Ooh. Oops. Yeah. No. Punch him. What's he doing? Sir? No. Oh. Come on, no. Are you guys okay? Thank you. Don't mention it, but it's not safe around here. I'm gonna send you both to home base. We won't forget this, whoa! Still no sign of Dizzy. This isn't good. Plus security still seems to be down all over the city. If the generators are bust, there's no stopping those things coming in. So what now? Let's head back to base. Maybe Dizzy and the Resistance are waiting for us. We'll tell the commander what's going on. He'll know what to do. You're coming too, right? I'm stuck with you for the time being, kid. Let's head to base. Let's do it. Ugh. Hey. Just bolting him out. I know. New Hope City. Phew, we made it! Ah, oh, don't mind the mess. I wasn't expecting visitors. This is just your room? Why, did you think this is the whole place? I'll show you around later. First, we should tell the commander what just happened. He'll probably be in the command center. Lead the way. Hell yeah. Love having a little hub. So I still have a dash, but it's like a little... Little baby dash. Oh, teddy bear. He thinks that there's either NPCs here in the full game, or maybe just for the sake of the demo. We need to speak to the commander. I'm just enjoying the background art, man. Commander! Commander, 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 commander! Hello. Okay, and Fiore, explain the situation to the commander and Dr. Quinn. Now let's get back to punching. If everything you say is true, you've no time to lose. We can't just sit around and wait for everything to unfold. Genos, one of our best scientists. Will K be okay? Between you and me, he wasn't our first pick for the front lines. The berserk orbs only merge with suitable hosts. Uh, this, this orb thinks I'm a host? Seems so. Until now, I've never seen an orb willingly merge with someone. Genos had some success in forcing unifications, but let's just say the process isn't without its flaws. Well, what are we waiting for? We got people to save. Fiore, do you know where we can find the rest of the orbs? I know, Genos. I sure I can help. Then it's settled. You know who assignment is? To work together and secure the remaining orbs. Yes, roger that. And I, your fearless commander, shall be cheering you both on from HQ. Thanks, Commander. Steam next best. I know. I appreciate it, Commander. Please, Fiore. Please, Fiore. You're not a member of the Resistance. Call me Leslie. That's the Commander's name? Uh, yes, Leslie. We'll stop Genos and get those orbs to safety. Leave it to us, uh, Commander. Make rescuing Dizzy your priority for now. Don't forget to help any Resistance members you find Let's along the way. We've got here. May I interject? Okay, that berserk form you change into is quite remarkable. A physical suit made from pure energy. I've never seen anything like it. 
If you could collect blue orbs and bring them to me, I'm sure I could improve it even further. I'll be waiting in the lab as always. Let's see that Now, suit. shoo! Go and find me some materials so I can work on that suit of yours. Aye, aye. Whoa! I'm suited up! Are you ready to head out? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Locked. Trying to the resistance. Star Mission 2. Steam Previous Fest 1. Ooh. I will cow here in HQ. I knew things were bad, but I didn't expect the whole place to be on fire. Any ideas to what's going on? Looks like Genos has started his attack in earnest. Could it be the flame orb? We're gonna have to hurry if we want to find your friend. Rats! The door's locked! With rats! There has to be a switch around here. We have to find it. We should evacuate anyone we find while we're at it. Running to the left? You can't make me do that. Whoa! Sir? Now. Where'd that come from? Okay. Nowhere. Yo! No. I'm okay. Meant to do. Hey, what's the what's the uh Is that the ham that's the hamburger button. Deactivate the switch in Okay. So you Gotcha. So the checkpoints are also teleports? That might make backtracking with later game stuff really nice. He's just gonna bonk on me? Mm. DK Barrel. Yeah, no, it really is. I think part of the problem for me is that the health. I know the music's loud. I, the health pickups are really tiny. I kind of wish they were more visible. Like the, the different orbs, the, the yellow, blue, and the red orbs are all like the exact same size, just with like different color, different pattern. I kind of wish there was more variety between them, I suppose. Not the major deal, by any means. 60? So I gotta get some 60 resistance. Time! Shit. No! Wait. Yeah. to check that it actually worked. That's really neat. Come on. The arcade shop for the messenger shop? Oh, man. Love that guy. Uh, I can't move while I'm on the elevator. So I gotta... Better take us to a teleporter. Like the one down here. So is that bank it? it? Must. 
GB style graphics. I was thinking, like, at first, obviously, the Mega Man X comparison, I was like, oh, this is very Super Nintendo. And I was like, it's kind of a little bit Genesis. And I went, no, it's Game Boy Advance. What did it was the font. The font felt like a GBA font to me for some reason. Where it's like kind of clean sans serif. Higher resolution than it really would have been on older hardware. I mean, the GBA is not new. Older than the GBA. Yeah. No, we have time. We have plenty of time. We have time to watch. Oh, 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 oh. I'm only pressing the stick right now. That's just left and right on the stick. That's really nice. When you press off of, when you press in the opposite direction, it bounces you off. So that's really nice. Anyway, I guess we're out of time. This game's neat. The more I play, the more I'm getting into it. At the beginning, it was like, huh, what? But it, um, it feels, it feels like the way a Sonic game could do combat if they weren't cowards about it. <laughs> like, like, it's, it's, it feels like, it feels like the way 3D Sonics have long struggled to do combat. And again, it's 2D, so it's not a fair comparison point. Um, but in terms of like, the combat doesn't necessarily home you in. So, some attacks seem to kind of like uh, 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 latch on enemies like that, but a lot of it's like bouncing from enemies, enemies go down quick and you're able to use them kind of springboard from one to the next. Um, I don't know, it just, it has a really good sense of momentum to it when you're able to kind of bounce around. And the, the enemy placement seems well suited to the environment layout, so. It's good. It's, it's fun. Uh, that was neat. That's Berserk Boy, which I think is out soon. I think next month. March 6th. Why is that not on my wish list? All right. Next up. Crypt Custodian. Yeah, I'm going to just preemptively start the timer. Hand the bed soon. Have a good snooze. Oh. Cat. He's thinking about stuff. He's thinking about all that blue. A game by Kyle. Music by Eric. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Eric. Control recommended. We got it. What's that third button in the middle? The asymmetrical second select button. Cool. Normal. Now a smidge more. Starts like turbo. Yeah. Dual Shock Two. Oh, it's the uh, the analog button on the Dual Shock. Oof. Dead. Oh! Oh! Hello? Hello? Oh! You're awake! My name is Pip! I'll be your guide to the palace! Wait, what? The palace? I was literally just outside on the street. Where am I? It's a smidge loud. Um... The palace is the most beautiful part of your afterlife, but we aren't there yet. Mm. This is just the entryways where all new ghosts first land. Ghosts? So I'm dead? Uh, well, yeah. Sorry, I should have led with that part. Well, don't worry too much about that just yet. We have to get moving. Nearby is Kendra. She's the guardian of the afterlife. You have to make your way to her chambers, and she'll listen to your life story and determine whether or not you can enter the palace. Good ghosts go to the palace where they experience never-ending bliss. Welcome. Thanks for the raid. Hello. Kitten's dead. They're fine. And bad ghosts are banished to live outside the palace for all eternity. Come on, you should get going. I'm happy to see another cat come in here. I mean, in spite of the circumstances, at least. Most of the ghosts that come in here are bugs, which doesn't really give us much to talk about. Cool. Outdoor cats are sinners. That's the theme. 
Bon. Oh. Yeah. Guys, it's a very floppy walk cycle in a very satisfying way. Ooh! We have a stamina and a little, little roll. E. E. Jump! Yeah. Can I jump and then roll? No. Alas. E. I want it to, I want it a little bit higher than this, but then this feels a little bit too loud. Maybe I can nudge it down like that. Just a little bit. Because the, the the what I have set up on my on my stream deck is like 10% volume adjustments. But um anyway, uh map. The palace. Yeah. Zoom in, zoom out. Oh. This feels like Dust Door, but cozier. Yeah! Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm supposed to jump. Oh, you can't walk off the edge. That's nice. Knights in the wood plus tunic. So what's it like inside the palace? Oh, well, I'm actually not sure. I've never been inside there. You haven't? Were you bad or something? I guess I must have been, because Kendra said so. But instead of banishing me to outside the palace, she sentenced me to be a guide for all of eternity. You see, Kendra can be very strict, but also very fair. She makes the rules and she always sticks to them, no matter what. What'd you do? The dodge roll makes a noise that sounds like a Minecraft. You know what I mean? Whoa! I got a broom! Finally, I can clean up the mess. Attack. Yeah. That's very satisfying. Boom. We love an instantaneous explosion of particles. This is going to give me points in the afterlife, right? Boom. Oh. Oh. -ho. Yeah. Boom! Broom, broom. Yeah, yeah. Yee-hoo! Over here. Boom! I'm sure Kendra will love it if I break all the statues, right? Now I'm back over here. Full circle. But now I got a rope. I'm sure it's balanced for combat purposes. But whenever a game says, hey, you have a neat roll, but you gotta wait for a thing to cool down. I'm like, just detect if I'm in combat. And if I'm not in combat, let me go whoop, 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 all over the place. Hey, you made it. Kendra's chamber is right inside here. Just be on your best behavior because you really don't want to be on her bad side. The entryway is shaped like her. Hello. Hey, cutie. It's so nice to see another fresh face around here. I'm the famous Kendra, Garden of the Afterlife. It's my job to determine whether you've been good or bad. Oh, and sorry that you died and all, the, and all that, by the way. That just makes me so sad. It does sound like bottles. <laughs> this over here is the door that leads to the palace. Those allowed in the palace experience never-ending bliss. If you've been good, I'll let you inside. And this door leads outside of the palace. You really do not want to be sent out this door. Well, enough chit chat. Let's take a look at your life. I've been good. I was a kitty cat. I laid around in the sun. Oh, this says you were born as a stray and you had a brother and a sister. So cute. And then it seems like you were adopted by a nice couple. They took really good care of you. Yeah, look, look at me. You love to play and get pet. Wow, I'm having a really good feeling about this one. Pip, can you please prepare the palace door for opening? 
Anyways, let's continue. And then one night, it seems like you escaped from your home, ran onto the street, and... Oh, you poor thing. Well, I guess that settles it then. You were a very good cat. I have no choice but to let you into the palace. Or, um, wait a second. There seems to be another page. This says... That after you died, you landed here in the palace entry and you smashed some of my statues. I did call it. This is just awful. I'm afraid that you've been a very bad cat. And as punishment, you will be banished to outside of the palace for eternity. Wait, I didn't mean to do it. I just thought that's what I was supposed to do. You thought you were supposed to break my statues? Sorry, that excuse is not gonna cut it. I do feel for you though. If you think this sucks for you, just think about how I feel. I'm the one who has to live with the guilt of sentencing you to eternal torture. This is really bumming me out. Well, enough wallowing, it's time to go. Oh, and because you created such a mess, I'm also sentencing you to be the afterlife's janitor forever. So hold on to that broom. Now it's time to leave. Please exit on the door on, on, the door on your left. My left? Sorry you didn't make it into the palace. I really thought you could do it. Break more stuff. Is there anything I can do? I really don't want to be doomed forever. Sorry, little guy. That's just the way it works. Plus, if I just let you into the palace, that'd be totally unfair to all the other ghosts I doomed. Well... That's what I get for mashing the X button, I guess. The Weeping Wastes. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay. It's a very sharp broom. Eh, eh. My currency is soot sprites? Yeah, because I have, will have to clean up all the, all the crap. I'm taking my job seriously. Whoa! Stab it! Stab it! Must make clean. Must make everything clean for all eternity. I hate you. Okay, I feel better now. Currency looks like coal. You can't do. Ooh. Oh. Oh, cat! Whoa! Uh, teleport. Well, let me hear teleport. Equip. Upgrade slots. Special attacks. Okay, huh? alright. Requires one key to unlock. I like the neon sign. Great. Yeah, yeah. Shit, time's half over already. No! My bones! I like how quick the attacks are. It's very satisfying. They just bap, bap, bap. It's like a cat. You know, when cats go into attack mode, they just bap, bap, bap. Uh, that seems like too far to jump. So let's go the other way. There's something about recent games shaking and are making words big and small represent the character's inflections speaking. I love it. Definitely a lot of games have... Can I... Does... So if you save, it refills your HP. I do, I do kind of wish it was just instant when you walked up to the save point. Fair enough. If there's no auto-saving, then I suppose that's one way to make the player save. Dodge roll. Yeah, I know. But thanks for telling me. Oh no! Ooh. Yeah, I definitely like the effect too. It can be easily overdone when like every other sentence has like a bunch of stylized text. Eh. No. Eh. No. Cray. Love the smear frame. Oh, yeah. 
The animation's very good. I didn't expect the game to feel as good as it does when I saw the trailer. It, it looked like the aesthetic is so on point and looks so cozy and comfy that looking at gameplay like this, I was like, oh, okay, like it, it might be neat, but I wouldn't expect this to have like snappy, good feeling combat. Like it's nothing like, holy shit, this is the best combat I've ever seen, but like it's solid. Like it does what it needs to do. You can roll and cancel out of the roll. And, like, huh? Oh, orb. The tunic effect. The thing is with tunic, Tunic doesn't have very snappy combat. It's one of the things I like the least about Tunic. I adore Tunic. One of my favorite games in recent memory. The combat is not one of my favorite parts of the game. It's everything around the combat is what I really like. Whoa! Hey, get back here. No, oh, no! I'm fine. Is there a way to heal other than? Well... No, I'm okay. I'm okay. The best combat ever. Um, Banjo Tui. I don't know. I don't know if I have an answer for that because, in a very not good answer way, I feel like different games have different constraints. So, like, I could tell you that uh, Shadow of the Colossus has some of my favorite combat ever because the combat is extremely simple and it's just like a means to an end for what that game is about. It's not great, it's not very complicated. You climb and you stab, but that game is entirely about its combat. It's one of the main pillars of that game in a way that's really good for the games, but yeah, I hate Souls like still, but, but then there's something like, uh, like Doom 2016, which is, which is first person shooter. It's, it's, I think, highly dependent on the game and the game's goals as to whether or not I find that combat a good fit for that game. So that's not a good answer, but, um... I don't know, I can think about well, a game that does good third-person combat, a game that does good first-person, a game that does turn-based combat in a very interesting way, you know? Like, it just kind of depends. Yeah, Pac-Man at the end of the day. So I'll just Pac-Man, really. Sekiro? Sekiro's great. I really like the flow of Sekiro's combat, or, um... I remember really getting, uh, enjoying a lot of, um... The... No. I mean, I legitimately do like a lot of Souls. Elden Ring, I think, is some of the best from soft combat. I think what I like about Elden Ring, or, like, a lot of Souls-like combat, though, is the slower pacing of it means, I mean, it's it's like, the things I like about FromSoft Combat are a lot of things I like about Monster Hunter Combat, which is it tends to feel slower and weightier, and it forces you to pay more attention to enemy animation, and wait for openings, and taking advantage of it like that, instead of like, a lot of games do that in a not fun way, of like, the boss is invincible, until now they sit here being tired and you get in a bunch of hits. FromSoft and, Mo and Monster Hunter games do that just all constantly, but they're making you decide now the boss is vulnerable. They're not saying this is the part where they're vulnerable. You have to figure out when that is. And I find that a much more rewarding experience. It's all Rock Me too. It's all Pac Me. So yeah, but for a game like this, what I would hope for the combat is le like enemy placement and designs and room layouts that are effective for the gameplay. I just went in a big circle. Um, yeah, it's fine. And the fact that, for one, you can't run off the edges, you can jump off them, but then there's these hitboxes is really nice because it gives you the confidence to do dodge rolls and stuff and, and be able to attack and reposition yourself, which is really nice. A lot of games don't do that, and they end up feeling kind of sloppy because you're like, ah, I just tried to dodge this guy, but I can't interrupt the roll, and I rolled off the edge. This, you can interrupt it, you can jump, you can, you can attack. There's like, there's even a special attack that I'm now realizing if you do a roll attack, which is more of a stab. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just it's snappy. And the enemies don't have, cr they're not sponges so far. So you just need to do just enough damage. They have to think about what they're gonna do. 
Also, the really readable animation tells, like, a lot of stuff is like, here's where I'm going to attack. So, it's nice. Um, do I not have what I need? God Works Comedy was really excited not to come back. Yeah! I really gravitated towards the God of War style action game, as opposed to the Devil May Cry style action game, where I've complained in the past about how I don't like playing games like Devil May Cry and Bayonetta because I feel like I'm doing it wrong. I feel like the game's judging me, literally, for not being better at the game. God of War's like, did you rip the Minotaur in half? Good job, keep going. And also, like, the older God of War games in particular, I think did a really good job of of, uh, wait, did I get the key I need to open the big door? Maybe. Um, I think they do a good job of giving you a lot of fun toys to play with, but none of them are necessarily required. Or not as great. So, they give you room to experiment with more complicated moves and combos and, like, switching weapons and stuff in some of the games. Stop it! But you can just kind of button mash and get through a lot of God of War, but you might just get bored. It's like, the game doesn't go, you need to mess with the combat in order to survive, or in order to get a good ranking. It's you need to mess with the combat to make it more fun. We gave you all these ways to make the game fun. Why aren't you doing that? Which is, it can backfire, I think. There's games I've played where it's like, why would I mess with the combat system when I could just button mash? Hollow Knight, I think, has good combat. It's not my favorite. There's a couple things about Hollow Knight where it's like, until you get a couple movement abilities in particular, it feels really tough. You can't really reposition yourself very well. And also because it's side-scrolling, you have to worry about like gravity and stuff. A game like this, you just kind of like zip around on the ground. Oh, I appreciate it. I totally, I wish I liked it better. Uh, just having given character action games a chance a couple times. Hi! Hey kid, welcome to the Sinner's Inn. How's it going? Uh, kind of bad. I just died and got sentenced to clean for all eternity. Haven't we all? Well, if it makes you feel better, it's actually not too bad here. If you ask me, us bad ghosts are more fun anyways. I'm Marla, by the way. I saw all sorts of things here. So whenever you collect enough garbage, make sure to stop back in here and buy some. I'll tell you what, as a welcoming gift, I'll even sell you your first special attack at a massive discount. It's called Super Sweep. Go on and pick it. One monies. Creates a spinning circle of brooms. Both special attacks and upgrades need to be equipped at save shrines. There's one just outside. When you attack enemies, the vessel at the top left will fill up. When it's full press, buddy, use your special attack. Remember to head to the nearest shrine to equip your new attack. You can teleport between shrines. Be sure to come back and visit whenever you collect more garbage to spend. What can I get for you? I can buy Spirit's Buffer. Creates a circle that hurts enemies. Makes attacks 30 percent stronger at full HP. I like that. I like the little face. <laughs> I like the little scribbly face on there. Quick foot. I know we're out of time. Increased movement speed. Gives you one additional health point. Briefly gives invincibility. Give me the buffer. Nice doing business with you. You gotta equip it. Thanks, Marlon. Major marker adds an icon to your map to tell you where to go next. Item marker marks the location of an item on your map that you missed from a previous room. Cool. I like that those are optional things you can buy. Ah, oh, that old thing. It works, but I've lost all the discs. If you find any, you can bring them back to the jukebox so I can pay you for them. A VIP room. Sorry, bud, I can't let you in here. This area is for VIPs only. And I've never even seen you before, so you can't be that important. Now scram! Okay, Mr. Rat, sir. Don't make me tell you twice! Hold me closer, tiny bouncer. Oh. Don't know how I feel about that just kind of arbitrarily opening up, but... Okay. I got a special attack, and I can equip that. Oh, it, oh, it's a slot system, like Hollow Knight. So that takes all four of my available slots. But I also have the special attack. Press X to equip. Okay. So now I can... So Bu makes that spin around. Whoa. Neat. Well, okay, we're out of time. But I ended up liking this way more than I thought I would. Not that I didn't expect to like it. That's why I checked out the demo. But...
This seems really solid. I really like what I've seen so far. Well, let us skedaddle. Re-elect Kendra for Afterlife Overseer. She's a hired position? Anyway, uh, right. Crypt Custodian is available to wish list at your leisure. It is on Steam and it has a release date of some time later this year. Check it out. Next is Crypt Master. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Let me see if this is in the Steam database. Crypt Master. A lot of crypts. Yeah. Thanks, Cam. Uh, ask NPCs for information or gossip. Might some of the results or not. Some people have better things to do. Right here. Are we being cryptic? A little bit. When fighting armored enemies, you need to do at least two points of damage in each hit to pass their armor. I only played the first, like, 20 seconds of this. And I was like, this is right. It's a good day for crypts. When the Horned King was defeated, the Great Seal is laid over the Underland to keep the dead from ever rising again. Dead rising. Pacific Drive, what's time limit? Uh, 20 minutes. Ish. It's a little bit of a soft limit, but... 20 minutes. Many ages ago, a great evil rose to threaten the fledgling kingdoms of men. Until it was forced back down into the darkness by a group of legendary heroes. Now, centuries later, these mighty heroes sleep beneath the earth, entombed and forgotten, in the realm of the Crypt Master. Let's go! Uh, up, down, left, right, enter, back, exit, let, yep. Begin real time. Recommended. Pretty sure it's pretty much over. Oh, Hello. my pain. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take that as a yes. Yeah. Anyway. Mm hmm I'm calling to you from beyond the veil that separates the living and the dead. You're on the dead side. Um, what? <laughs> what number is this? I now, don't know. How are Five? you feeling? Um, pretty, you can't hit space. Pretty good. I don't really understand what you're saying. Can you explain in a little more detail? Uh, no. Actually, I withdraw the question. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> now, move toward the light. Okay. Oh, move forward. Move forward. Onward. Welcome to my crypt. Or should I say, your crypt. <laughs> Why don't you take a look around? Okay. Oh, bug! Um. Bug. Yes, yes, it's full of bugs down here. Take bug. Take. If we need to pick something up, I'll let you know. Eat? No, you can't eat things now you're dead. Kiss. Do what? Kiss. Smooch. Uh. Okay, we're fine. A little, little side room. Oh, lick, lick. Um, no, no. L O L. L O L. I don't know what you're saying. Raffle now. Ooh, these names look a little familiar, don't they? Let's get those. 
those rotten old brains of yours working? Why don't you try reading out the names on those pillars? Yeah, it's really good. Uh. Jorro the warrior, that's you. That's me? Oh, hi. Is it too loud or is it okay, chat? Might be a smidge loud, but. As the melodious, okay. renowned bard. What? How's that? <laughs> what did he do? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mix the sea witch. There you are. And now you have your names again. Let's move along. Yeah, let me see. Um. Uh, well, well, um, uh, presentation, speech, okay, music, I'm gonna smith, the music's really good. I just wanna make sure we can all hear the very good text, the, the, the talking. Uh, hello. Um, hello. I'm gonna try nudging it back up. Hi. Um, hello. Mm, bye. Oh, nice try, but I'm afraid you maggots are stuck with me. I'm not going anywhere. For reasons of copyright, I can't really discuss that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. oh my, how shocking. For 17 centuries, I have consorted with the foulest demons and abominations imaginable. I have plumbed the depths of human depravity in my quest for dark knowledge. But oh, what a naughty word you used. Why, if I had blood, I'd be blushing. He didn't like it when I said the fuck words. I'm gonna say it again. If I have to remove your jawbone and scrub it clean, then I will, you know. Whatever. <laughs> I, I love this narrator so much. Oh, oh, nice. A chest. Type bold words to interact. Ah, now these chests contain objects I've long since forgotten. I expect you have too. But maybe, if we can remember what they were called, it will help to restore your memories of life. Now, Jaro, I think this is something you used in your days as a warrior. Tell me what I should do to it to find out what it is. Um. Use simple commands to instruct the Crypt Master. Look, feel, listen, smell, taste, remember. Jaro. <laughs> Just said Jaro. Okay. Let's say we're friends with it. What should we do with it? Sniff. It doesn't have any particular odor. What shall I do with it? Shake it. It's quite weighty, even though it's hollow. What now? I'd break my teeth if I tried to bite it. But when I lick it, it tastes metallic. Yeah, you have a what set number. Now? There's four of them you get to go. Throw it. No, we already tried shaking it. Um, listen. If I tap it, it makes a sort of ding. Okay, no more playing with it. Time to guess. Do you remember what this thing is called? So it's, it's hollow and when he taps it, it makes a ding. So it's something metallic. And then it's kind of weighty. It's a pipe bomb. <laughs> Sounds like okay. Maybe a helmet? Oh. Well, that's a good idea. A helmet. Yes, J. 
Joro, this is your old helmet. Now let's move along through that door. Well done. I was thinking maybe like a trumpet or something. Skill note collected. Pad. Skill note. Say hit to gain your first skill. Guessing though. Try different words to examine the answer. So if I just type hit. <laughs> skill discovered. Mm, you did like to hit the things, didn't you, Jaro? Yeah, you like to hit things a little bit. Um, and then what about, um, he uh, Bell? I don't see any, um, Bell. Ye yell? Yeah. Ooh, I rather thought you would sound better than that, Maz. I suppose you haven't used your vocal cords in a while. Fire? Hey, you're not making any sense. Water? That doesn't make much sense. I'm not doing that just for your gratification. I I'm not doing that want to just for your gratification. Uh, Mario. For reasons of copyright, I can't really discuss that. Ask him to do the gritty. Gritty. Try and guess the four skills of your characters by entering a word, collect letters from additional chests to reveal more hints. Um, how are we doing in here? Big old, big old room. Oh, it's wet. No, don't do that unless I tell you to. You'll ruin your knees. Nothing has moved in this room for a very long time. Okay. Any good demos missed so far? I think they've all been neat. You can check Gam's uh, Google Doc. Oh, look. More of your old junk. Oh, boy. Chest. Oh, look. It's a thing. A thing? What will we do with it? Kiss it. Okay. Let's say we're <laughs> friends with it. I love just throwing and away what now? one of my cards every time. Uh, 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 shake it. Mm, fairly weighty for such a small thing. Easily portable, though. Now, what should we do now? Um, sniff it. Ooh, it has that lovely old paper smell. Do you know what I mean? L look at it? It's sort of rectangular. There's something you can hold in your hands. Yeah, it's some kind of a book or a parchment, like a spell. I mean, it looks like it's four letters. It's a burrito? What could I narrow it down with? Uh... Taco? Re re read it. Oh, good idea. My old eyes aren't good enough to tell exactly what is written I here. love this voice acting but yes, so much. This is definitely something you're meant to read. Okay, no more playing with it. Time to guess. Do you remember what this oh. thing is called? Yeah, it's called porn. A uh, book. <laughs> no book. <laughs> oh, yes, that's exactly what it is. Yes. <laughs> I love this guy. All right, check this out. What a filthy mind oh. you have. Perhaps I should take your brain out and wash it. Teddy. Peepers. You know, you really must stop thinking about sex now you're undead. All your relevant parts have fallen off. Oh, okay. Calm down. What about a uh, boot? Here's one damage and knocks the enemy back. Nice. Sad. Who are you describing when you say? Sad. Me. 
I beg your pardon? Me? What a strange thing to say. You. What? You? Yeah. Yes, what? 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 <laughs> Why did you say that? What, what? What, 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 what? N Y A. I think you've been dead too long. That doesn't make any sense. Just say nya, narrator. Come on. Sus. Sussy. Baka. Mm, stop it with that cutesy <laughs> nonsense. Hell, zombies behave like it. Why does he have a line for Baka? Okay. All right. Ooh, uh. this little fellow looks strangely familiar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sniff it. It smells of musk and sewers. There's no way a hyperloop is now. There's no way a hyperloop is in there. Uh, uh, uh taste it. Yeah, it tastes furry and rather disagreeable. Hmm. What shall I do now? Feed it. No, it bit me. <laughs> now what should we do now? <laughs> the line delivery on that was so good. Uh, pet it. Yes, I think it likes me. Let's go. <laughs> good ending. Uh, cheese. Cheese? It's not one of those, no. No, give it a cheese. Okay. No more playing with it. Time to guess. Do you remember what this thing is called? I love this game's vibe so much, and the screenshots do not indicate <laughs> what kind of vibe this game has. Yeah. A rat. Yes, that's what it's called. <laughs> It bit me. I think it likes me. That's how rats work. Is there another chest in here? Just those two? There's some books. Each book soaked to pulp and illegible. Eat the books. Eat the books. Even staying beneath the freezing water, you feel nothing. Oh. Lab? Lab? L A B. I don't understand what you mean. Dab. Dab. You want me to dab? Yes. Mm. Yes, please. Fortnite. Oh. Um. Mm. I would like you to dab. Shit. I want to play this game the rest of the day. Oh, look, a toad man. Let's see if you remember how to fight. A toad man? I've heard the name. He's even older than I am. Where is this frog? I can't see one. He's right there. There? I don't know what you mean. He's right there. Um. Color? Hey, you're not making any sense. Yeah, I wish, I wish the game... I mean, actually, I think there is a setting to change the tint. Yeah, down here. What if we make, make it... Oh, ooh. Oh, so it's, it only tints like one color? That's kind of neat. What about bl blue? Oh, 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 it's like a whole color palette. Oh, oh, that's really nice. I thought I was just going to tint everything one color. Oh, man. I just want to look at all these now. That one's way more subtle. I love the sound effect, too. For Oh, yeah, make it purple. Make it purple. Purple. Purple? What is it you're describing? So he has the concept of purple. Oh, that's nice, too. Guess let's go if he has any cornbread. <laughs> Bread? What are you? Some sort of undead gourmet? So what if I am? Mm, seven. Oh, that one's kind of nice too. 
I like the red in the distance. Okay, I, I know we don't have time. I just... This is nice. These are pleasant. Brains! Oh, this one's darker. Spooky. And the last blue one. Nice. I'm just gonna go back to the default. Zero. Um, uh, uh... Spaghetti. Pasta. Chef. What was that you said? Food? Hello? 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 Oh, he's a little frogman! Hi. Us. Us? What? Huh? Um... Um, okay. I forgot my other <laughs> boot. Was that right? I forgot. I forgot. Oz has dropped. Give me the O. Oh, give me the Z. Oh, <gasps> zap! Well, Nix, that was splendid. Sued. That's a good IG. <laughs> the voice acting is so good. He was one missing letter from an ally's name. Um, charm. What do you mean? You want to uh, charm? Yeah, they have the one cooldown. So I'll, I only remember Joro's attacks. So. Oh my God, that's a lot of words. Oh. So he he has hit and boot. Don't have any of this guy's moves yet. We have yell and soothe. He can yell. She has zap. That's a lot. I I want to know what nab. Um, uh, uh, cab. C A B. Jab. I don't oh understand God. what you mean. It's coming back to you, sin, isn't it? You're right. All those knives in and the jab. Dark. And jab. And jab. And one two. And jab. And jab. Discarded bones of tiny animals litter the floor. Bones! Bone? You know you're undead. You don't have to be scared of other spooky stuff. I'm afraid. Spooky. Sounds like you're frightened. Spooky? Yeah, it's spooky. <laughs> I like hearing the big spooky band say spooky. Skills later perform actions combat. Each skill has different effect. View your skills with one, two, three, four. We have to call it. But I'm glad you're all as into the game as I was from the brief bit I saw earlier. Up ahead is the Eye Stone, an ancient sentinel designed to imprison the restless dead. To pass beneath his perilous gaze, you may need to retrieve my Soul Stone. I'm gonna jump over the ravine. Let's just do one more chest real quick. This is a big one. What should we do with it? Typing of the dead, but the other way? It's dead of the typing? Lick it? It doesn't really taste of anything. What are we going to do with it? Sniff it. It doesn't have any particular odor. Spooky scribble nuts. Um, yeah, poke it. Smooth. And very hard. Uh, what are we going to do with it? Uh. Is, yeah, like a. Uh, no, we already tried licking it. I want to bite it. Yeah, look at it. It's a large, flat piece of metal in a sort of oval shape. It's like a shape. Uh, what a shield? should we do now? Could it be a shield? Maybe it's a shield. Is this an AI game? I don't believe it's AI. I, I had that thought when I booted it up, but to my layman eyes, I don't think any of this is AI generated. I think it's all just pre-recorded and pre-written. Um, it's a DVD. Um, uh, um, pet it. Okay, let's say we're friends with it. This game's too cool. <laughs> okay. No more playing with it. Yes, a lovely big shield. Just like yours, Joro. 
Yeah, that's that's true. It's spelling out some words it doesn't know. Oh, bug! I want to dance with the bug. Anyway, uh, this this has been Crypt Master. I think that's the name of the game. Guard. Joel, can I be attacked while guarding? Hustle. Jostle. Jostle. <laughs> I love this fucking jostle. <laughs> this is fucking good. Anyway. Oh god. All right, all right, all right, all right. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. This game's neat. Danger. What do you mean danger? I don't know how to read. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Okay. I have to stop. Um. Game's neat. Let's stop. Oh, that's this Cryptmaster Go wish listed. I don't know what the release date is if it has anything listed. It has the option here for a controller. And I'm like, how? How would this? With a controller. I'm hitting. I'm hitting the hamburger button. It's not doing anything. It's fine. Um, oh, I think I might have escaped out of it. That's fine. Um, virtual keyboard? Yeah, it sounds a little bit rough. I mean, I want everyone to be able to play this game. Maybe I crashed it? Nope, it's fine. There we go. Uh, that is Crypt Master. It is sometime later this year. Wishlisting the fuck out of that. It looks great. But yeah, no, I, I like this popped up as I was going through. And I'm like, oh, this looks like a horror game, like Typing the Dead kind of thing. But then, like, Sniff is weird. Okay, there's like some color in there. Like weird monsters and stuff. Like, I don't know. Banana, like, sure. But then I booted up and he was just like, how are you doing? And I was like, fine. He's like, I don't really care. And I was like, oh wait, this game is really good. <laughs> like, it's a it's a game you gotta see to, to really to really sell it, I think. Um I I adore that. Anyway. Um boo -boo 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 -boo. You only get those letters, that would be hilarious. Uh, so, next up is Duck Detective, the Secret Salami. Let's go. I'm also very excited for this one. I'm excited for all of these. Heck. That's the dumb mama down one. Hell yeah. Just a normal duck. This is a short demo, 10 to 15 minutes. Hope you enjoy. We're excited to share the full game soon. Happy Broccoli Team. X can mean doubt. F can mean respects. Duck Detective, the secret shalami. Let's us start. I don't know if there's a controller game or or what. Put me in. Life wasn't easy. It's voice acted? I was a freshly divorced duck. Not able to pay next month's rent. Oh. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. My brain felt foggy, and I was trying to remember. Where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. Grimmaster has a Spanish dub demo on Twitter? Deductions! Just wanna stop the timer. This is already my wish list, right? Yeah, it is. 2024. Okay. Very fine. I meant to only pause the timer. Like, I just need to, I'm good. I don't need to see anything else. Deductions are a vital part of a detective's work. Um. Did I, did I... Oh. Uh, find clue words by questioning persons and inspecting your surroundings. Enter clue words into the blank spaces to solve deductions. It is very golden idol. The nest egg. Five more clues. They spent their last money on blank for blank. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's... Oh. oh, chat, that's very good. Thank you. Oh. oh, no! It's rough out here for a divorced infest the duck. I won't be needing this badge anymore. My badge! I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. No messages. This fresh smell. Bread! Oh, sweet spongy loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. The duck is played by Harrison Ford's son. Are you for real? Are you for real or JK? 
He sighs. I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. Case of the golden fowl. Is this anything? Yes. And it's good. And now, she doesn't even answer my texts. Do not feed ducks bread. Noted. Gravity Falls fake show duck detective. I forgot about that. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Anna. Anna added to clues. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. I have everything I need to solve this now. I'm ready to solve the puzzle. Um. Duck detective spent his last money on bread for the duck detective. Ah, not my proudest moment, but the toast helps me to forget. Mm-hmm. You just knew I was gonna play this one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one's been on my radar for a minute. But I hadn't actually seen gameplay, I just said, like, knew it existed, and I'm just- Just this? Just this? Is good? Hi. Hannah! Whoa! I'm a different duck now. I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. You have to believe me! Uh, <clears throat> oh. Yeah, you're speaking to the duck detective. Let's discuss this in person. I'll be there in an hour. Dan needs to play this. Everyone needs to play this. The bear bus. I mean, the thing is, I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. I'm such a absolute sucker. No, sucker is not the right word. I'm so desperate for more games that are deductive reasoning, like Obra Dinn, like Case of the Golden Idol, that I'm like, I'll take any that you got. But when they do them like this, and I'm like. This is delightful outside of its gameplay loop. And you're giving me a deductive reasoning game on top of that? Thank you. Exactly. And here I was. In front of Bear Bus Office. Some sort of rundown call center. Down is luck, duck. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. New bus route starting in August. Visit the scenic mountains of South Sicia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. Oh, and just gotta walk real slow and think about it. Uh, well, koala. Hey. I'm staying here until I get my money back. Bear bus? <laughs> More like scam bus. You uh sound unhappy. You bet I am! Their stupid buzzes always arrive late! I came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning! And they don't even want to give me a refund! Uh, I tried to play Shadows of, the De Shadows of Doubt, but it blew up my computer. It was running at like 5 FPS, so I was like, mm, maybe I wait to check it out. How much did you pay? It seems really neat, though. It seems very ambitious. Too schmark. Too schmark! <laughs> but that's not the point! It's about the principle. Can I play in leaves? Yeah! Grain optimized very poorly so far. Yeah! Seems really cool though. Grace is amazing, make sure you're the game. Hey! Did you work on this? Hello! Welcome, welcome! It is delightful. I could already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. But I had to make my way into the office. God, the smooth jazz, too. Oh, September. Oh. Pardon me, ma'am. I definitely didn't mean to do... That one was intentional, though. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. One of the voice actors seems so cute. Yo! Who did you voice? Okay. The voice acting has been phenomenal so far. Do you so work far. here? Um, no. 
Then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from their bus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. Name. Listen, buddy. You better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. What's your deal? Inspection. Use the magnifying glass to find clues and press A to uncover them. Oh my god, it's cute. Oh, wait, what do you get? Oh! A tear. Sad. Why are you sad? Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry about it? What's in your phone? Oh, what do you got there? A keychain? A boy band? You're a K-pop fan. Hmm. Mm hmm. This does feel like Frog Detective, like you're in someone's face, just like, huh? Hold on. They're like, can I help you? Windheimer? They lace their shoes. <laughs> They're like, really cute stylized art, and then like, hand. <laughs> it's just really good. The slightly more detailed version is really good, AB. Oh, God. Oh, Apollo Justice. I have not played Justice. Hmm. It's Sophie's birthday next Thursday, just saying. Birthday. Hmm. Laura from CS is way too loud. I can hear her keyboard all the way to my desk. Laura! First name, Laura. Hard-broiled duck egg detective, exactly. I swear to God, if someone steals my mug again, I'll end them. Mug. Mechanical keyboards, am I right? Suggestions. What else am I? Sophie, that's another name. There we go. These are quite mundane. I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scandalous. I should be able to deduce her name now. It's important to work out a suspect's name to crack the case. Enter the first and last name into the slots below their portrait in your journal's suspect page. K-pop fan, sad, Wintheimer. Last name, Wintheimer, first name... I forgot which one was which. Um... Oh. Let me look at it again. Uh, it's Sophie's birthday next Thursday, just saying. Laura is way too loud. So it's probably... Probably Sophie. Uh... There she is. Nice, that tells you when you're right. This was one of my favorite parts. Like, I adored uh, Case of the Golden Idol, but figuring out people's names and having it be like, boom, you got it, is such a satisfying thing. I'm glad they're doing it here. Even though you're like, I'm a detective, what's your name? They're like, oh, wouldn't you like to know? Keep thinking he has a gun? He might. Smiley, happy. <laughs> That's how I learned. How come the... It's so scribbly, like MS Paint art, and you zoom, and it's like, no, it's actually really clean. <laughs> it's really clean art. Giraffe, cute. It's good. September, do you remember? The 21st. The 7th is today. Do I have Tomorrow what I need? Tomorrow is Friday. I need to remember to collect my dry cleaning. I should be able to figure out what's going on with her. I need to check my notes in the deduction section. The ne the reception. Blank is feeling blank because blank is blank or blank. Uh, so people, Sophie is feeling sad because people has stolen her birthday. <laughs> um, uh, uh, pe people has remembered. Nobody has remembered. That makes more sense. People have. That's why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. Yeah, let's go. Sing her happy birthday. You're still here? Good observation, Sophie Windheimer. Bum, 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 bum. Get out. Aren't you impressed I deduced your name? I'm wearing a name tag, nitwit. Well, it doesn't say your first name, though. That part is creepy, but I'm choosing to ignore it. 
That's very good. You're still here? Happy birthday. You. I'm just here to... I accuse you of birthday. Wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. D deductions Huh? Uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. No one else remembered. Can you believe it? If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the key card to the office. Hey, thanks. Bear bus. <laughs> Look at that art. It's so dramatic. <laughs> Woo. Let me in. Let me in. It says server room. It's locked. Darn. Damn. All right, see you later. Sophie. Later, alligator. Oh, oh, oh. Stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long or it'd rub off on me. This is the last straw! The Redder Sing needs to be fired! I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the duck detective. A client hired me to investigate a case. Why didn't you just say so? It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. All we need to fire him is some evidence for the upper management. I'll be in my office. I see. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. I needed to find my client as well. Inspecting the crime scene will be important too, but this is a demo. So you'll have to wait for the rest of the game to be made. No! Thanks for playing. No! No! Trogdor was a man. Was a man. I mean, he was a dragon man. Burnate. Or maybe he was just a dragon. But he was still Trogdor. Trogdor! Have a good day. Thanks for the AME. Stuck in Ace Attorney Vodlin. Just want to say thanks for all the great content. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Hope you're enjoying the VODs. Thank you. They cliffhangered us, I know. What was... Did anyone see what the loading screen text was? It was like, ducks are named after Sir Jeffrey Duck or something. I... This is very good. Uh, that's Duck Detective, the Secret Salami, which is, I think, just 2024, just sometime later this year. Wishlist it. Check it out. It's really good. I was the bear? You killed it. The, 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 the three seconds of dialogue I heard from you was very good. I can't wait to see more. I, that was a very short but sweet demo. Just more than enough to be like, yep, I'm there. I'm buying it. See you there day one, devs. Oh, we're gonna check out Flock next. Let's go. Flock. Flock of seagulls. Ho, ho, ho. Ducks are named for Sir Jeffrey Duck, who invented birds in 1642. That checks out. That sounds right. I got a controller. Flock. Request me to play Duck Dive. I mean, drop it in the dock. I'm there. This is Flock. The demo's a work in progress. Full game will feature online multiplayer. If you enjoy the demo, please consider wishlisting on Steam. Okay. Meow. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Meow. We'll see if my computer runs this okay. Let's go. Put me in. He. He. Yeah. Create a new character. Yo. Okay, I'm gonna I'm hit random eight times. Why eight? I don't know. One. The bird two. Two, three, four, five, oh, six, yep, seven, oh, and eight. That's me! Look at that, look at that lovely plume. Oh my, the shader on that plumage. Let's go, hold to create. Surf! Let's go. Uh, solo game. 
Yeah, because in the trailer, it showed, like, on the multiplayer, they said it's not in the demo, but... I have no idea what this game is. I think we're almost there, old girl. Hard to tell with all this cloud, though. I wonder if that's why Aunt Jane needs our help. You'll like her, I think. No, bitch more. She's a zoology professor, so she'll definitely like you. Not so sure about Uncle Reg. You're not one of his beloved sheep, so he might not even notice you. They're like chalk and cheese. Reg and Jane. Hard to believe they're twins. I can just about see the towers up ahead. What a relief. Let's find Aunt Jane and see what's going on. Move and dash. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Meow. 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 Pretty. Skyward Sword? Yeah, but good. Oh. Visit Jane. Hello. Oh, huh? Who are you? Mm -hmm. That's Jane. I found her. Surf! You made it. I admit I was getting worried. Hmm. Is that you, Soft? What a sight for sore eyes. Uh -huh. We've had a cloud surge, the first one in decades. It came in so fast it swallowed up my research students. Hey. What a bunch of wallies. You wouldn't catch a bird rider like Sarf getting swallowed up. Oh. That brings us to the reason for your visit. You see, I'm creating an official Uplands creature guide. Can't do it without a bird rider. Hmm. And none more glorious than my little sheep, Bessie. Keep an eye out for her, Sarf. Oh. My students are lending a hand with the book, but we can't keep pace with the creatures. We need a bird rider to get up close to them. Try flying up to a creature, Sarf. Off you go, then. Okay, okay. Um, wild creature to identify. I love their silly little houses. Hello. Okay. Um, few stats and quests. Find a wild creature. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Hello. Whoa. Uplands Inscarpment. Okay. In Inscarpment. Hello. Oh, yeah. Creature. Hmm. That's just a sheep. The creatura. Sheep. Put, it, put them on the list. Inscarpment's the, the thing? What do you mean by just a sheep? I won't have you talk about Bessie that way. All right, all right. I suppose there's no harm in documenting the sheep, too, though it's not like there's anything to say about them. Bessie has a face like a glorious summer's day and wool that would make an angel cry. You write that down in your fancy guide, Jane. Okay. Let's crack on, shall we? Keep searching for creatures to identify. Your guide's not going to fill itself. Yeah. You've identified your first creature. Soon you'll be skilled enough that I can trust you with my whistles. Oh. These whistles belong to our granny. She used them to charm creatures. Once they're charmed, they'll follow the whistler, so I thought we could use that technique to make more detailed observations. Oh. But I mean, need to make sure that you've got the hang of creature identification first. Go ahead and identify three more creatures for me. Okay. These look like creatures. Wow, they don't seem bothered by you at all. Let's try identifying one. First, Take your time and observe them closely. Look for distinctive markings, behaviors, habitats, anything. When you're ready, we'll open up the creature guide. Let me, let me take a peek. Yeah, they, they got sil a silly little situation going on. What's up? Whoa. Like a worm. New family discovered. Buells. Huh? That there's a buell. Buells are all just beans with faces, really. It's adorable. Which description max matches this buell? We have basking buells, burgling buells, coppery buells, spotted buells, belted buells, and collared buells. Basks on concrete and warm weather. That sounds right. Steals things is a menace. Scruffy pretends to be a fruit. Large yellow spots on top side. Travels in packs. Tuft of hair on head. Skims water surface. Dives for food. Yeah, they bask on the concrete in the warm weather. Yeah, I'm sure. That's a basking buell. Well done. Well done. Nice. Oh. Their basking and barking always reminds me of sea lions sunbathing on a pier. You're making great progress. Not many creatures left to identify in the areas you can reach now. I'm doing it. I don't have a whistle for the basking buells. Blur. Uh, more of them. Wait, there's a, there's a thing. Where are you? 
Who are you? What's your deal? Yeah. I like the way it is. That's a new family. Cosmets. Cosmets have a distinctive boomerang shape and only live near flowers. Yellow-tipped cosmet, horizontal stripes never camouflaged. Emperor, very large, changes color constantly. Greater spotted cosmet, spots on fin tips, vertical stripes. Pink-nosed, nose different color to its body. Blue-tailed, three vertical stripes, plain blue fin tips. That looks like yellow tip to me. Yeah! Well done. The that game company-ness of it. Definitely. Also reminds me of, uh, uh, oh, what was it called? It was a game where you're going around looking at birds. A little girl, her face looked like a gorgle face. You wiggle the stick to make her say yes or no to stuff. It was delightful. That game was charming as hell. Someone's gonna remember what I'm talking about. Oh, the sun is sunny. Alba, that's the one. Yeah, Alba was very charming. Can I go through the... Go through. You find one more weird little guy. Uh, these are pretty good. Yeah. Oh. The water towers. Alright then. Oh, the string lights are nice. I need to find one more guy. That's a guy. Are you a new guy? You're a new guy. Oh. Looking at weird animals with people online sounds incredible. Yeah, doing this in an online game sounds very charming. They'd be like, there's a silly little guy. It's ball. Oh, that's me. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> um, I think especially if it's like, oh, these ones are more rare and they need certain circumstances to lure out, then it could be really charming. What we got here? Kind of looks like Swifty, a little bit. New family. Glebes. How do I explain glebes? There are varied lots, and they have all they all have wings or other feathery appendages. Probably distant cousins of your bird. Gallus glebe, moon glebe, forest glebe, frogmouth glebe, warbling glebe, morning glebe. Similar to a chicken, nocturnal, round flat face, barely flies, prefers bouncing in the moss forest. I don't know where I am. Am I in the moss forest? Huge feathered mouth pouch. Hides in long grass, one single head feather. Has a long floppy proboscis. Little guys, hi Nicole. Um, I think this is like a little chicken guy. That's right. I, I guess they're all the first one. Makes it a little bit easier so far. They're all the first ones in the list. Oh yeah, the far right yeah. Cosmet has like a little starburst. It's like it's special. He made great progress. Nope, not many creatures left. Batten down the hatches. Thieves incoming. Oh, the order must be random. It was there for you? Oh. Stop thieves! Not the whistle! You've been away at that university too long, Jane. Fancy forgetting to secure your stuff against burgling blues? Mm -hmm. I did not forget. You should have warned us sooner. Now they've stolen Granny's whistles. We can't charm any creatures without them. Sorry, sorry about this. I'll need you to track down the little burglars. One of them's headed to the one of them headed to the meadow near our camp. Can you see if you spot it? The meadow near the camp, huh? Um. Oh. Oh, can I have a little sit? That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Um. And by meadow, you mean this meadow? Oh, you dash, and then you zoom. We're at the escarpment. It's really the Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword, if it was good. Um. Um. Yeah. Hello. Hello, silly little guys. You can really zoom. Yeah, you can zoom. I mean, this seems to all be environment down here that's just covered in fog. So you probably want to be able to go fast. Where? Where? 
in the meadow. But th there's more than one thing that looks like a meadow to me. Oh, beans with faces. It looks like he hopped on top of a thing that was very conspicuous. That I don't know why I'm struggling to find. Uh, oh, all right. Wait, no, that's the sheep. I thought it was a thing like this. That is so satisfying. The reactive, like, little dangly bits. Uh, not that, that, no, the other one. The other one? Hello? 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 Um. Um. Where, where, where is? Map, map. Resume, map. That, this doesn't... Hmm. Is that not it? Well, there's... It's like the meadow seems to kind of surround the jam. There's also this little spot down here. But there's not as much stuff here, so it doesn't seem like it. Am I in the wrong place? Has anyone played this demo? Because time is of the essence. Ma'am? Oh? Find us some more wild creatures. No, I'm trying to find your stuff. Mm hmm Buy clothes. Oh no, the cosmetics of it. Oh, mustard cape. Oh yeah. Shit. Oh. No. No. Goodbye. The blob on the map? Down there? Get FF7 Rebirth on PC at official launch day? You got it. I'll tweet at Squeenix. Is that where I'm going? Where where is that? Just south and keep going? I think that's where I first spawned in though. I don't think I don't see anything out there. The sheep. What about the sheep? Is the sheep where they are? Hello? Hmm. It's um okay. I, uh, okay. The sheep is not what I'm looking for though. I know it's there, but it's almost impossible to find when it's hidden under in all that metal hmm. grass. I could set Bessie on the metal. She'll make short work of that grass and the burglar will have nowhere left to hide. Come on, Bess, time to show Jane and Sarf what you're made of. By God, look at him go. No, my reactive dangly bits. You're eating them. No. Yeah, that one looks different. Oh. I'm sure, Squeenix doesn't have you on some hit list for your Kingdom Hearts videos. They might. They might. That was actually pretty impressive. Well done, Bessie. Hmm. Good job, girl. Who's a good little sheep? Is the best? Yes, it is. You're so cute and good at munching. You're gonna get such a fussing when I see you. Uh, anyway, Sarf, you'll be able to drag the burglar out of its hidey hole now. Just grab its beak and give it a real hard yank. Peck your beak. Get, grab it. Grab, grab it. Grab it. Now fly backwards to yank it out. That's burgling mule, all right. Such pesky little thieves, almost impossible to catch after you've dislodged them. And there it goes. Good riddance, too. Deal with it. You recovered the whistle for mules. Yippee. No. Oh. Stretch out your neck. Hey, Sarf, have a look in the burrow the burgling mule just left. Let's see what it stole. It's the Beal Whistle, what a stroke of luck. The whistles each have a unique song which can be used to charm creatures from a particular family. This one's a Beal Whistle. It plays a song that appeals to Beals. And it looks like your bird has picked up the song too. What a smarty pants. Now you have the Beal Whistle. You can go up to any Beal and try to impress it with your song. Give it a go. Any Beal will do. Any Beal will do. Charming Critters is one part singing, nine parts positioning. The sound waves line up when you found the sweet spot Take your time positioning that bird and press A to sing. Spooked it. That can happen when you sing a creature from too close or too far away. The further away from the sweet spot, the greater the chance of scaring them off. So I want to be... Do I want to be close? Oh, I do want to be closer. So it's just distance. I charmed him. I'm so charming. Yep. Charmed, I'm sure. Did I do? <gasps> yeah, they joined my flock! 
That's the name of the game. Whoa. This game is nice. Hello. Check this out. Uh -huh. Well done. You seem to have gotten the hang of things. So next hey. up, Jane, give the poor kid a moment to relax. Then project this and whistles that all day. If you run Sarf and that bird ragged, there'll be no use to anyone. Sarf, your next task is to take a breather. Flap over to the perch of Mark and have a well-deserved rest. Suppose you better get off and see what your Uncle Reg wants you to do with that perch of his. The thing that I discovered. Neat. Perching's a great way to relax and appreciate the beauty of the uplands. You can even do a bit of critter watching if you focus. Hold left trigger to take a closer look at your surroundings. Hmm. Hold left trigger to stay in focus mode and zoom in and out using left stick. Give that a go. Mm -hmm. I spotted something in the clouds nearby. Use that focus stuff to see if you can take a closer look. Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck is that? Huh? Is that an Emperor Cosmet? Granny told me they appeared during a cloud surge, but they're incredibly rare. It must have been hiding just below the cloud layer. I bet it's been exploring the lupin fields further down the mountain. Cosmets love lupins, perhaps the Emperor is no different. But we just need the cloud to drop and we can test that theory. Whoa. Neat. What a magnificent beast. You can hear it from miles away, too. Hang on, the cloud seems to be falling? Is the Emperor Cosmet making that happen? Birds are magical creatures. Which is very satisfying. It is such a nice cloud shader. Oh. The cloud has dropped so you can see the lupin fields. They're beautiful this time of year. Go take a look. Take a walk. Yahoo. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time left, but this, the game's neat. It seems like I, I would imagine this game opens up. I mean, obviously it's opening up as we go. But just this loop of like, find cool little guys, inspect them, get their whistle, hang out with them. Which seems good. Hello. No, don't scare him off. What are you? No family. Thrips! There's four thrips, not three. That's a thrip. You only ever see his bioluminescent beauties at night. Their eerie glow makes people sometimes mistake them for fairies. The elusive thrip. Common thrip, darting thrip, rosy thrip. Second set of wings keeps its rear end aloft. Long pointy nose, pleasant yellow glow. Drooping snoot patrols the wetlands. Warm pink glow shelters amongst trees. Pointy snoot! Yeah! Oh. That's a common thrip. Well done. I got him. Huh? Keep searching for creatures to identify. Your guide's not going to fill itself. Flower meets Pokemon go. I'm in. It's super charming. I'm very much enjoying this. It's a nice, relaxing time. Which does make me worry about playing online multiplayer. If someone's like... Like, there's, there's a version of online multiplayer in this game that's like, Yo, I found a cool thing over here! Let's check it out! And there's a version of this that's just like... I can't fucking relax because someone's yelling at me the whole time. Sarf, while you're in the loop and fields, could you look out for my researcher, Kristen? She'll be on one of the emergency perches as per our safety protocols. Okay. Yeah, I can look. Take a look. Oh, the space. The stars. It's nice too. Um, a porch. Is that the porch? You found a lost sheep. Playtime's over for you, Wooly Wally. Sarf's gonna yank you out of there. Get him. I got him. Hey. Look at this one. A right menace of the shadows, I'd say. A little legend like this deserves a name to match. Muncher, Grassbane, Chewy, Romulus, Zeus. Chewy. Yeah. Chewy. My sheep. A great choice. Chewy. Sheer all. Oh. Your first sheep. I'm so proud of you, Sarf. Shepherding's clearly in your bones. 
Next step is grazing meadows. Eating the grass makes your sheep nice and wooly, plus it'll flush out those burgling mules. Fly over to any meadow and set them down. Hmm. Nicely, the sheep to munch away. When the grass is all gone, you'll be able to find the burgling mule and drag it out of its den. You also have a very full, very wooly sheep. Oh, look at him go. All right, good luck, Chewy. Shit, we're over time. Uh, this is nice. I don't have much to say about it because it's just... The loop seems very soothing and neat. And I like that... I feel like the risk with a game like this is that you'll be, you'll be missing some guys and just have absolutely no idea what you're missing or where to go. But, like, every time you discover a new family, it tells you, like, here's some little bits about the other ones. There's another little guy. There's a little guy. Um, so you can be like, okay, if there's a way to reference, you know, this one only appears at night. I can help you track down what you're missing. It's good. We're at zero for that? Is that it? This creature's from the family right, Mac. You work out which one for me. Oh. Uh, it's, it's a cosmid. Oh. Neat. Okay. They're actually like, are you paying attention? Easy spot when you know what you're looking for. Uh, three vertical stripes, plain blue fin tips. Yeah. That's a blue tail cosmid. That's kind of cool. That bisexual cosmid. <laughs> Keep searching. Nice. That's good. Since when was the five minute rule established? I have no idea. That's news to me, but I don't know how it was set up. Anyway, uh, this has been flock. We got to move on though. But this is this is nice. Have a sit. <laughs> I like the bird's noises too. No, I want to look at his big dumb face. Yeah, there you go. I like to customize the bird too. Anyway. Neat. Prediction was meant to be five minutes over, but Shiv accidentally forgore. Oh, a forgore? I cannot believe. Uh, flock. That was good. That is coming soon, TM. Stay tuned. Next up, Haunty. A jaunty haunty time. Should have put in the production because a lot of people would assume that's just off how many times, no matter how many mids. Yeah, it's probably fine. Oh. Haunty. Yeah. Yeah, we got. Yeah, resolution slider. Maximum graphics. Crank it all up. Nice. Nice. Language. Deutsch! Control mapper. Whoa. That's good. All right, let's go. Uh, let me, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Portuguese Brazil. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna move around. I really like the wiggly on the back of the head already. It's very good. Kind of bobbles his head like a little chicken. Dash. Oh. No! <laughs> Just like uh, the Cat Custodian game. There's a cool. Da I want to mash it and zip around. I respect that I can't, but I'm always mad about it. Hi. Welcome, new soul. More monochrome games that are neat. Uh, I've made these signs to guide those who would wander in from the vast plains. Where is this? Eternity, of course. No. Yeah. Welcome, new soul. I've made these signs to guide those wandering from the vast plains. Where is this eternity, of course? Hey, bye. Boy, this game is gorgeous. Shoot essence. I'm out. So that's my little spiral guy in the corner. I have a Dreamcast logo. To indicate my my jam my essence and go where it needs to go oh okay yeah this is neat hello if you haven't figured it out by now you're a ghost one of the perks of being a ghost is that you can haunt things when you haunt something your spirit joins with it shoot something with essence and you'll see 
Well, remember, not everything can be haunted, but a lot of things can. Give it a shot. I'ma haunt the shit out of this triangle. My god, this game is polished. Okay. Hi. Shoot an entity with essence to haunt it. Oh. Hey. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to mind my own business. You think you can just come along and haunt me? It actually feels kind of nice. Hey, now we've got to give this ghost some guidance. So, um, you, hello there. Us humble hills don't have much to offer. But some things ghosts haunt have wonderful abilities. So keep exploring, little one. I can make him do a wiggle. Hey, Haldrim Fireforge. Hey! Welcome. Hope all's well. Things are going good. A bit wet out here in SoCal. But I'm having a great time. Playing some neat. Oh. I see. I am all about this art style. I did it. But before I leave, what's this about? Get him! Get him! I did it. Hold the knockdown. Is that good? Oh, I was supposed to use that during the combat. I see. This is our fucks. It's rad. Hold the knockdown. Smash! Nice! Who are you? You're you, of course! Oh. Who were you? Again, just a sign. Maybe you'll find clues on the stars. Thanks. Yo, thanks for the prime. Really appreciate it, Forge. Hope you're having a good. Thanks for coming by and saying hi. Thanks for the prime. I hope you enjoy the emotes. We have quite a few. But I hope you enjoy. You can light the little torches. It's very silly. Wait, hold on, hold on. I didn't think about using the right stick. <laughs> you can look around. Huh? Who oh, me? I'm just a hill. I do 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 do. do 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 do. I any game that lets me puppeteer a little guy automatically wins some points. Game shaved. Oh. Okay. Man. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So being where you're not in the light, what happens if I just hang out here for a while? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. So even though I lit these little guys, still gotta stay near. Can I... Huh? Hey. Hey. Wait, so... Oh. So that's anything that doesn't have a circle of light around it. Eh. Oh! Whoa! Yeah, oh! Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh. Well. I see now. This is farewell for now, young spirit. Perhaps you will meet the real me somewhere out there. M. Whisp. Goodbye, Mr. Whisp. Uh, this is a big lobby. Oh. Oh, oh. oh the hands. This is very good. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, this game just has a style. And executed the hell out of it. Sl the little face. 
My god. This is charming. I still have like 80 minutes, right? To play this? We're cool with me just playing this for another... Oh. Oh, we have time. We must be quick. Never mind. It's on a cycle. Oh, pardon. Hey, what's up? Delicious. And go. And quickly. The void is nice. I feel welcome in the vo void. Um. Uh. I chose poorly. I chose poorly. Go back! Where was that leading me? Oh, I was supposed to. Ho ho! Also, I think it's coming down again outside. Hi! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Hello. Ma'am. <laughs> oh, that's good. Excuse me? Biblically accurate friend. Oh, hey, did you do a little loop on my for my? If I'm not, you do a little little spin until I catch up. But squeeze me. I'm faster than you. You gotta keep up. You have to be faster than that, ma'am. Oh. What about any of this? I'm sorry, did she turn into a little hat? Or a little, a little UFO? Ma'am? Oh, it's blue now! Thanks, ma'am. Careful, ma'am. Them's bullets. Bullets in this here hell. I'm gonna have to go play Persona 5 again to remember what the different colors of the <laughs> for order goes. Orders of Biblical Angels do, yeah. The best way to learn about the Bible is from playing Persona. Oh, the parallax. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 no. Oh. Oh, there's parallax on the parallax. Oh. Oh, no. This game looks like a UV poster. This is disgustingly gorgeous. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, no, I'm down. This, this is, this is, this is good. Hello, ma'am. You're my friend, right? This is where friends bring other friends. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm not sure how that's gonna fly. Oh, I was say, it's a lot of tiny little particles. I don't know how well this will translate into the stream, but on my screen, this is disgustingly pretty. That is just oh, be not afraid. I'm not. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. Uh, listen. It's fine. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. 
Give me that. What, huh? Whoa, huh? What was that? Bro, more angels. Okay. We're ascending! Hello? Whoa. Crunchy. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh oh. No, 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 no. Goodbye. DuckTales pun theme, but sad. Kind of weird they're giving us the best part at the start. Yeah, but if they're starting with this, then what the hell else are they doing in here? Energy is grease? Yeah. Of a game where you're just like, how is every scene of this the prettiest thing I've ever seen? And then they keep one-upping themselves. The end. Gotta watch that DuckTales reboot? Oh god. And now it transitions into Cult of the Lamb. Me, I'm just a worm. Probably the plot game seems like it. Oh, we have a lot of friends! Oh! Yeah, this is, this is, this is... Huh? We're friend. Huh? Let's okay, vi say, Viz, this seems like you are Jam specifically. As well. Are you friendly friends? Oh! Ghost Flame. Consume these to perform special abilities when haunting. Collect as many as you can. Okay. Oh my god, the particles that they turn into. Eh. Why am I crying at this game? No, it's good. Grab some of these. No, it's fine. Stay on the path. It's fine. I, there's one up on the very top on the left. Who's kicking him feet. Having a, just a jolly, jaunty time. He's good. It's on the radar already wish list. I'm excited for this one. Hey, I'm, I'm now understanding why... Reb played this demo... In a previous Next Fest. Or something. And that everyone was just like, everyone needs to play this game. Ah, foolish ghost, we watched you fall. My students couldn't help but laugh. Ha! <laughs> How pitiable your pride. Get good, scrub. Did you think you could ascend on the first try? Do you even know what ascending means? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, ha, ha. The name is M. Whis. The guy from the signs. Perhaps you've seen my signs? I'm sure you're quite curious what this is all about. What with all the heavenly lights and chains. But I'm afraid you're not yet ready for an answer. What I can tell by looking at you is, you were living a fine life before. Now it's been yanked away. And you can't even remember your name. You're desperate to hang on to something tangible. Something like, uh, well, this. It's a glimpse into your past. One could say it's a piece of you. It's very sparkly. I like his demeanor. Oh, we, we're done? That's all you... Okay. Should I... Hello. I can push him around a little bit. What if I just say no? I want to pick up the little... Give me these first. Gimme, 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 gimme. Nope. Touch it. How does this game look the way that it does? Oh, goopy grabby hands. Hello? These stars unite to return what you left behind. Collect a few more and I'll show you how they do it. This is where it all begins. The little guy in the foreground is going, and his friend is trying to just relax. Is it tea time? Can I have a little tea? Okay. So we look at the game and go, I understand how they made it look like this. It just like, in theory, yeah, but then when they're doing like crazy sparkly things, I'm like, what on earth? Um, the grabby hands really want that egg. Holy hell. Oh, I can clear away the goop. Oh. Uh oh, okay. 
They're still grabbing. Yeah. Shake. Yeah. Oh, that makes more light. Neat. This game is cool in the way that it is. The game's design seems to be, I don't know, you just kind of shoot at stuff, things happen, you go, ooh! That's good though, right? It's good. I like things happen, go, ooh. It's my favorite genre of game design. It did the big shake. Eh. Whoa! Glimmering in night hallway. It, it was just like the sparkles on that animation. I'm just like, huh? What? It's probably just hand animated with like a post processing effect, but it's just very, very well done. Shake a shake a shake. Shake, shake, this game's a mischief maker's like. That's what it is. Oh. Mushroom Spirit Woods Silent Grove. What's this? Big ball? What'd that do? Oh, you know, he's just like, where, where girl? Not here? Okay. Where is my angel wife? Does that go there? Get all the orb. Need more orb. Nom 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 nom. Every damn might of mischief makers is a good day. I didn't care for it. But I like when she shake, shake, and go shake, shake. Oh yeah! Crescents of Silent Grove. I also was not expecting this game to be like, like M 3D Mario inspired. Of like, like these feels like stars to me, where you're going through to different areas, and maybe there's like a hub kind of system to it. But you're able to go to different places and interact with different things and obtain the main MacGuffin of the area. This is rad. We have to call it, though. Or do we? Ah, Chain Friend! Sporio wanted chain watched Chain Friend fall. Loud thud. I'm Sporio. Sporio loves the wood. Chain Friend having fun here? Where, where girl? Chain friend said. Searching for friend? Great fungal elder can help. Sporio, take chain friend there. The gate is over there. All the, well, that is a ways away, my guy. But Sporio forgot how to get there. Ah! Sporio is gift for chain friend. It's map friend. A magical map friend. Map friend changes as you explore. Sporio. Okay. Now Chain Friend never be lost. Sporio believe Chain Friend will find a way. Woo woo woo! Whoopee! Whoa! I'm dizzy now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Even the map is pretty. Eternal Bridge. The Tower. The way that that is. Does Map from go map, map, map? Sure does. When do you get the map magic map that shows you where Link appears in his little boat? That's later. Uh, this is neat. This is good. I'm in. Hunty! Moon loop! Loop! Hunty! Hunty. This is neat. Uh, this... Quarter 2, 2024. So, coming up. Ish coming up. Next up. Pacific Drive. Pacific Drive. 
Let me make sure the game's updated. Oh, we play the full game. Yeah, it looks right. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me update thing. Pacific Drive. Yeah. Could we put a CD on? Yeah. Back sure reminds me that when I tested this game, I was like, oops, this is probably copyrighted music. And the game does have a streamer mode. Thankfully. Uh, meh. Yep. Yo, it's interesting. Seems neat. Seems interesting. You can't drive in the Pacific. You need a boat for that. That's what the game's about. Driving a car repeatedly into the ocean. Plays that early and I loved it. Noise. This is the game I'm probably most worried about my computer exploding because it's very pretty. Thanks for playing this preview of Pacific Drive. This demo is the introduction of the game and the first story mission. E. Uh, save game data will not be compatible with the release version. We hope you appreciate your interest. Hope you enjoy this taste of the Olympic exclusion zone. I need to double check the streamer mode. I don't remember where it is. Uh, game play. Uh, re realism. Easy ignition. Reduce hold time to interact. There's a lot of options. Can I just turn it on controls? Audio. It's gotta be an audio. Streamer safe mode on. There we go. Add radio filter. That's neat. That's not toggle to. Disable car music. Okay. Let's go. Empty. Go. Would you like to customize your settings? No. It's probably fine. It used to be very isometric top down. Really? Hmm. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. That's a good thing, right? What happened inside was never disclosed. Watching the problem. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. I was like, if it keeps getting louder, I'm going to turn the volume down. Yeah, the vibes seem very good. Shipping manifest. Address, knock first, deliver, unload, clean, K, okay. duck, duck detective? The Olympic Peninsula, 1998, the distant future. It seems a little bit to chug a lug, so I'm gonna very quickly uh, do the gra graphics, maybe graphics, maybe lower graphics. <laughs> My poor computer is doing his best. Uh, medium, apply, are they applied? Yeah. Resume. Oh, that is way less atmospheric. <laughs> but wipers on. Let's go. I apologize for my crunchy old computer. But it still seems neat. I can maybe try to dial in the settings a little bit more. I need a new computer. Yeah, this is the year. This is gonna be another Toy Story? Yeah. Toy Story 7. So, when I booted it up and tested it, it was working okay on medium graphics, but when I'm streaming, obviously streaming takes a lot of resources. But also, immediately, a really cool song started playing, which is why I went, uh oh. And then I went into the audio settings and saw that there was a, an option there. So, I recommend playing the demo yourself because the song is great. I just don't want to get bopped. So, instead, we just have. <laughs> No music. Oh, yeah. What song was it? I don't remember the name of it. Oh, God. Oh. They were good. Big ol' wow. First reaction to hearing a cool song is, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that rain. My record is six or seven years old. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, my computer 
can basically play anything. The problem is streaming and playing games. Streaming takes up a big, crunchy amount of CPU, especially because I inherited Bath's old, P uh, old GPU when they upgraded. But my CPU is quite old at this point. But it's all good. We'll get there. Got some other things to figure out first. It's a bit wet out in it. This is me driving home, except not looking like this. Headlights. There you go. You gonna get rid of it? I'll probably keep it around. Either set up a two sh two computer setup, or I could just use it as a media hub at my for my TV. Oh, we're picking up speed. Okay, hold on. We'll get. We're getting there. Calm down. Warning. That's eh, probably fine. Put on the joke brakes. What are joke brakes? There's no brake. Uh, we can go off-road in this thing, right? Good make for good NAS. I should probably invest in a NAS. Because my storage situation is not ideal. This is a good noise. What's touch? We're hungry. Shut up! We're looking for the McDonald's. GPS said it was down this road. The demons. I don't really know what the threat is in this game, other than bad things are happening in the world. Uh-huh. Oh, it's getting bumpy. No, that's good. The red light means things are good. Wipers. That's the light that turns on when the ice cream machine is down at the McDonald's, so. Get your Happy Meal, chap. You're not getting an ice cream. Yeah, McDonald's comes to you now. Oh my god. Okay. Neat. Now ah, you're finally awake. I'm sorry, is that the wheel of my car? No big exclusion zone. No, come back! Come back! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you were a good wheel, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh, sprint. My engine? Fine transportation. Yeah, you don't- oh. This seems bad. Hmm. Just, just gonna choose the not. E. I drove into Death Stranding. Oh my god. What the hell is making that noise? What did what did they they dug too deep? Crouch. My summer car vibes. It's my summer car. Just uh, you know. Why is jump? I ask myself that every day when I'm when I'm watching um, like the Olympics and they're hurtling. Why is jump? Oh, someone out there? Hello. Uh, Talking car? Uh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. I want it to be a talking car. Put the wheel back on. Wheel. Pick up. Pick up. Slap it on. Install summer tire. Mm -hmm. Get in the car. I'm in. Start the engine. Yeah. Get to safety. Then drive. Yep. Yes, it's back. It's back. Oh god, it's oh it's this drifting to the right really bad. Located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? Hello. Nah, I'm picking up your How do I honk? signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey Francis, come here. 
Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. It's down on the D-pad. Poor hungies, hey, I know. A live one. Hey, do you got me? Whoa, whoa. This thing Hello? is squirrely. Hello? Is this thing working? And they, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Gordon? But if they're stranded, could they, I mean... They're from outside? Uh, uh... They're a breacher. Uh, I'm hey, rolling back. How did you get through the barrier wall? That's fine. No one's gotten into the zone Shit. in ages and let's <laughs> tell about it. Get and it? if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and Check it's gonna scramble trunk. you quicker than beef in a blender. Scramble! The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Drink the fuel out of the car. Why is jump really got me? Oh, these are good noises. These are very good noises. I'm gonna choose to not look around as this is happening. And 100%. Okay. All right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Fill your tank. Easy peasy. Everything's fine. Not at all. Oh, it takes a long time to fill it up. I'm not nervous about it. That's it. That's all we got. All we need. That brick. Get in. Get in, loser. What is that noise? Don't like that. Okay, gotta go. I know you want french fry, just calm down. Eee, ooh. Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that clip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? No kidding. What could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. Yeah. 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 If you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let me in. Sorry. Uh, oh, there goes one of my wheels, I think. Turn off the car. I'm sorry, if I understand correctly, I'm a breacher and that I'm from the outside, I'm assuming. And, and the car is something called a remnant? Seems I'm safe here though. Find a way into the building. Hello? Hello? Rachel. I mean, I'm just like, huh, what? When I, huh? And I'm, what? When I, what? Maybe around here where the car broke down. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, hello? Employee only. Um, but... Am I just guessing? No, no, Hmm, flip the breaker switch. Hey, there you go. Pick up the backpack from the table. Oh, God. Who's there? Put on mechanic's uh, eye. Uh, emergency broadcast. Dark. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, a 
official's own business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official's own business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Ah, <sighs> that voice, just like a nail gun to the skull. So... <laughs> Another breacher, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Well, that's really nice. Wait. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. I don't know why that's so amusing to me. <sighs> Unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. They are soft. I moisturize my hands. All right. Put park here. Thank you for noticing. I, it just like, it, it, it's a really good audio post-processing stuff. Connected. What the? Headset OS. Oh my God, I got the Apple Vision Pro. Blueprints. Okay. Missions. Fix the car. Route map. Toggle legends. Oh, okay. All right. Trap. Travel? It's like a fast travel? Car abilities. Certain components of the equipment that you have installed in your car have abilities that need to be activated. You can assign controls to up to four of these using your small panel on the left side of your dashboard. Well, in the driver's seat, you can steer, brake, reverse, shift between park and drive, and of course, turn the ignition key. And also toggle the radio headlights and windshield wipers. Should all those fail, honk the horn. Good. That's all you need. Auto shop is your base of operations. You're safe there. You can take your time between drives and fix up the car, craft parts, research new upgrades. I like having a safe place in a bad place. While on foot, you can walk, run, crouch, and jump. You can also pick up, drop, throw, and kick items in certain objects you come across. Should you come across any buttons and keypads, feel free to press away. Well, yeah, I'm good. Okay, so... I'm supposed to make the crude door. Uh, this weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. Also, keep out the wind and the rain. Just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. I don't have any materials pinned. The checklist. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. So what the hell is this? Just a billion batteries? I'll just... Okay. Yeah, sure. That seems safe. Honk the horn. If that fails, try five. Log photo. What? Huh? What? When I'm huh? Crude panel. Search the toolbox by the garage door for a pry bar. Yo, let's go. Uh, yeah. We got a mechanics kit. All the most essential items and equipment that allow a mechanic to do their job. You'll want a few of these on standby handle engine or wheel trouble. To transfer that. Pry bar. Is it a pry bar? Is it really your first chance to try the subtle art of lock picking? After all, this is for the cautious, careful opening of closed containers. It may simply seem larger than conventional lock picks or require a little more force. And also duct tape. Sweet. Pry it open. Equip the pry bar. Uh, is that in here? There, assign quick slot. Hand. Did I do it? I don't. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Well, hold on. When you uh, equip, assign quick slot by holding. There we go. Put it there. There you go. Now we're ready. Yeah. Now we're Half Life 2, Episode 2. Get it in there. Nice. Trunk interior. We got some plastic cups. You said you wanted McDonald's, right? Shit, we're almost out of time. Uh, road flares. And cups. Why... Why cups? Do I need that? Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items you're unable to craft. 
Friendly dumpster. Is it friendly? Is it friendly? Is it friendly? Did pick up the road flare? Kill it. Did eh? Uh, seems fine. Scrap what? Get scrap the abandoned cart. Scrapper. Scrapper. Whoa. Scrap the man cars, wheels, panels, and doors. Scrap it? Like... It's just making... Source... Noises. Am I scrapping it? Or I'm supposed to bop it. Like, it seems like I'm destroying it. Oh, oh. Glass shards. Scrap metal. Uh, okay. Okay, alright. There's a bar. I see. Oh god. Gimme that, gimme that, gimme that. I need more glass and more metal bolts. Scrap the wheels, panels, and doors. Scrap the That seems like it's in good condition. All things considered. Um Yeah, fuck it. Bust it up. Yeah. Oh. Um how about this? Yeah, I'll teach you. Rubber. Oh, that's that's the icon for rubber? A little bolt? Okay. Um, search for crucial items in the dumpster. I don't like this dumpster. He scares me. Why is he like that? Uh, another pro. You shouldn't have. Um, I don't know how to feel about. The sentient dumpster. Uh, door. I can't. Eh. Uh, uh I still need. Got some of the abandoned car behind the garage for a checklist. I guess just bust another panel. Does this give me glass? Eh. Man. Man. I know we're over time. I just really want to try fixing one part of the car before I have to call it. Dumpster, bless us with another crowbar. Thank you, dumpster. What am I? What am I missing? Uh. Eh. That's not doing anything. Um. Uh, I know the time. I know. There was duct tape in there. Okay. I'm still missing a piece. What do I got? What do I got to scrap? Computer. Compu computer. There's glass in a computer. Shit. Raid deal. Uh. Give scrapper specifically for scrapping and insist using pry bar for scrap. Well, you know, sometimes you just gotta improvise. What the fuck is this? Uh, uh, okay. Car's a tire left. There's gotta be glass in those tires, right? Wait, what's this? Glass shards. Got fucking. Craft a crude door in the shop. Workbench. Uh huh. Crude door. Craft. Mold the door. Install the crude door. And it. Good as new. Repair putty. Get the repair putty from the locker. Where the who? Buddy. Repair buddy. <laughs> Equip repair buddy. I this it might this might be a, a mouse and keyboard kind of game. Uh man, I'll just quick equip. Use the repair putty to repair the car. Structural parts. Where? Who? Steel paint like this? Okay. Oh, well, that's neat. How about on there? 
slap it on there. Good as new. That's very satisfying. Yep. Bam. Just kind of slurp it on there. Rear bumper. Don't have one. Uh, I'm out of. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. My putty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Medicate. Fix the flat tire. Scan the flat tire. With my eyeballs. Uh, repair the flat by crafting and using a sealing kit. Replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Repair my set or oh, so there's there's either or. I'm the putty wizard. Fix the sealing kit, so I can craft a sealing kit. What do I need to make a sealing kit? Uh, I need glass shards. So no, replace the flat with the spare found in the locker. Let's do that. Give me the spare. And just swap it out. Um. Flat! You blew it! Essential? The dumpster knows best. The friendly dumpster wouldn't be your best pound all the zone if it wasn't your... A hand, it wasn't handing out things that it thinks you really, really need. Things you definitely certainly should keep in order to safely make it through the next leg of your journey. Friendly dumpster! I'm gonna drop this. There you go. Grab this. And then... Plonk. Grab you. Uh... With my hands. And there. Scan the loose wheel. Equip the mechanics kit. The loose wheel. This one. We're gonna fix it. I think. Equip mechanics kit. This. Use the mechanics kit to fix the loose wheel. Uh, with with this, that's to pick it up. Mechanics kit. Um, I don't. What am I missing? Scan scan it. Inventory full. It's flat. I know. The one on the car. Oh my god! Thank you, chat. I was like, they said loose wheel, Mike, but am I fixing that? Okay. Uh, don't jump. Scan it. Loose wheel. Fix mechanics kit. I have that. Good as new. Oh, there goes the mechanic kit. Zone preparation. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Okay. Install them. Trunk storage. Oh. Okay. Install craft mat in the trunk. Cra craft mat. Craft mat. Craft mac? Inchi? This is rad. That's like a little mobile oh. base. Wah. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Passenger seat. Make sure to buckle it in. Uh, open the door. Put it in there. What the fuck? What is all this? This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Thanks. So that's storage. This is for crafting stuff on the go. Get first aid kits from the locker. Yeah, it might be alive. He's put the put the putty back. Put probably put a bunch of this back. I Man, I don't know. I don't know what I need. I need everything. Store items for your drive in the trunk. Put those in there. Road flares and scrapper. Wait, I have those. Uh, road flares and the scrapper. Download crafting blueprints. Be with the gear blueprint by the front door. Oh! I scanned it into my brain. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint. Put that in my brain. I am just playing the game. I just was like, this doesn't seem like a good place to stop, but it does just kind of keep going. Uh, here's pump fill up the fuel tank. 
and put that in there. Are we a robot? I don't think we're a robot. Align with the huh, with the when you huh put that back. Is that okay? Align the star with the, the car with the charging station in the parking bay. Throw the switch to charge the battery. This seems like a very bad idea. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. All right. Oh, and then that's charging back up. Okay, I see. This. This is the zone. Within these borders. All matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Neat. Three hours?! Uh, uh, I don't want. Do I do I do anything here? Taco Legend. Oh, route plan there. Select that station using the map on the wall. That's what I thought I was doing, but I'm bad at it. It's making a noise like I'm not doing. What? Huh? Where? Huh? When I, huh? What, what, what does it, what is it asking me to do? I'm already over time. It seems like I'm supposed to select this. But no button that I hit seems to. You have to Off press and hold it. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access You gotta road. press, that's why I made a weird noise. Okay. It says hold. Cause it's, well, it's got an A with a down arrow. I get it. I get it. I'm good. Yep. Cool. Get on the road. Well, we need to go play another demo, but this is very compelling so far. Gotta go this way. Oh, that's probably fine. Yeah, just gotta look at the map. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I mean, big thing there. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Bull. Yeah. I know. Why is it? I know. Toggle legend. Trap. Travel. Oh, uh, I see. So it's like kind of segmented. Gotcha. Crash as hard as you can. On it, chief. And then we're gonna switch to the next game. Oh, uh, this is really cool. It it it, it it's it's like. I, I like me a kind of survival kind of a game that's more structured, which this seems to be, where it's like you have these objectives, you go out and do okay, things. Okay, newbie, I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Yeah, whoa! You'll need a few My things brain. to the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered plasma. with plasma, generally. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. I'm on Plus it. those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Hey, what's that? Um, we gotta go to the next demo. Yeah. What is that? Hello? What are you? Are you friendly? You're friendly, right? Hello? Anomaly? Anomaly? Abductor? Oh. I'm not a car. You can't use magnets on me. Don't go after my car. It's mine. I di I didn't put the brake on the car. <laughs> Hello. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. 
Hey, over here. Hey, hey, hey. I'm making first contact. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Oh, where are you taking me? Neat. Hey. Vehicle protection compromised. What a friendly guy. Um, I know what to do. I did it. I fixed the car. Oh, I can kick it. What's that noise? Okay, anyway, this is this is neat. Video game. Yeah, no, I got <laughs> I just this is a weird time. It's compelling. Alright. Next up. Let's get out of here. Uh next up is Pepper Grinder. Ba 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 yeah, it did look neat. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I just kind of got into it. Uh, but also just trying to be like, I, I want to get a sense of what the game is, right? And some demos you can play for five seconds and be like, yep, I get it. I see what this game is. There's an update for Beastie Ball as we're going. Drill those are time. Yeah, maybe. I'm excited for this one, too. We got three demos left. Important for your health and safety when playing video games. If you have a history of epilepsy or seizures, you get advice from your doctor before playing in a video game. That includes watching a video game. Please be serious. The father. <laughs> yeah, the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why it's like I try to keep the twenty minutes as a as a rough idea of um I'm trying to get to as many games as I can. But this time around, nice. Shit. Damn. Okay, well, uh, th th this time, this time around, I only have 12 games to look at. There's been previous Next Fest where I have like 15, 16 demos, and I'm like, if I don't stick to the time limit, it's gonna be a seven-hour stream. With 12, I'm like, we have a little bit of room to be a little bit longer with some of them. But anyway, this is Pepper Grinder. Let's get the timer going. All right. And yeah. Put it back. Wait for the capture. Here we go. New game. Pull me in. Yeah. Jones doing next fest too. Hell yeah. I love checking out stuff for next fest. I love watching other people see what they find and check out. Because there's so many demos. And different demos appeal to different people, of course. Which is why I said earlier, feel free to recommend me other demos if you check out the next fest yourself. I Even if I don't do another stream of demos, it could be games I check out in a future next fest or just put them on, on my radar. Over 1,300 games, that's so many games. I just, there, there is, uh, hello. Oh no. Oh! But I got the drill. This is the plot to uh, Gurren Lagann. Um, and we're in. Oh, yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. I got to run both so I can get home. Yeah, I'm hearing the rain pick up again outside. I'm like, yeah, we'll get going. Drill. Okay. Oops. I'm caught in the journalist hole. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Get him. And get him. Oh, that's satisfying. Bucket. Mmm, tasty gems. There you go. Oh. The speed boost you get when you exit out of the dirt. Out of the dirt. Feels pretty good. Yeah. I'm so happy this game exists. Because I've mentioned, I mentioned earlier when I was first talking about all the games that like, um, one of the Ori games has a segment that's kind of similar to this mechanic. Uh, Rayman Legends, I think it is. I, 
I always get Legends and Origins confused in some aspects. Um, yeah, Ori 2 has a dig thing like this. Um, Rayman Legends, Sonic Colors. There's a number of games that have bits like this, where it's like side-scrolling and digging and stuff. But I'm like, I love the idea of like, no, we're, that's the game. We're, do we're just doing that. And just doing a bunch of stuff with that idea, because... It always feels like a really fun part of those kinds of games. And then it's like, okay, back to normal traversal. And I'm like, but... But that was neat. So I'm glad they went, yes, we agree. Oh. I got a skull coin. Yoshi's Island? Oh yeah, with the little mole digger guy. That never felt good to control, though. Secrets! Secrets. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, a little checkpoint. Hi! Double press A? Oh, while you're drilling, press A. I don't... It's just making me jump. Why... Why is it saying that there's a... De oh, while you're underground. Specifically. That... Hence the big arrows in... Okay. I thought they meant that was like a combat thing. Alright. I get it. Yee. Joe Dozer sequel looks good. Alright. Hey! Get him! Oh, he can also drill! Yes. Delicious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love me a, a world where there's implausible machines that interface with your main mechanic. Why would this be powered by a drill? I don't know, but it's great. It's satisfying. No! Wait! Secrets. Oh. No! Jane Dozen, no relation, no relation to Jill Dozer. Everyone has those secrets. Ah, shit. I love me a video game that got secrets. Oh, sorry about that. We cool? I didn't mean to destroy your crop. I did mean to destroy these. I'm... Is that... Alright. See you later, bud. That's kind of cool. Nice house you have here. Hello there. Hmm. Uh. Oh. Oh. I'm ruining their life. No, but it's fine. Because I'm having a good time. <laughs> Just eat. No, no. Oh, careful. No. Oh. Yeah. Wait. And yeah. Nah, no. Darn it. Wait. Yeah, there you go. Paints the jewels. The title screen prepared me for a very high energy OST. And so far the soundtrack's just been like a chill jam, which I'm not opposed to. I just don't think the title screen <laughs> set me up for the vibe. Oh, I should be destroying their nest. Murdered the babies. Wait, wait. There he goes. Can I grab? Oh, I got it. That is. This is very silly. I picked up the key with my drill and it stuck to the drill. Hey, we got it. Man. 
Yeah. Finish. We got all the skull coins for the level. Nice. Hello. That's how you finish a level? God damn it. That's adorable. That's charming. Drill key sub badge. Yeah, it has to spin. Look at the giant. Oh man, this art. It is kind of Yoshi's Island-esque. That's rad. Wellspring Canyon. Number two. Let's go. Can I drill the water? I mean, heck, you can drill anything. But you can't dash out of the water like you can. With dirt. Yeah. I missed the gem. It's fine. Yeah. Got him. Eh? I'm alright. Get him. Got Celeste vibes? A little bit. It's definitely a jam. Nah, nah, no. Yippee. Ah. Didn't notice that there. Whoop. Wait, wait. Over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. My bad. Uh. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry about that, chat. Do, 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 do. We got any mods around? Sorry, just put us in follower only mode for a sec. I don't know if Gam is still around. The jam. I know my jam. Let me just pause the timer real quick. Let me... And yeah, that, that's fine. Let me see. We were drilling! I know, so rude. Let me try unfollow. Let me see if I did it right. I rely on my mods. There we go. Oh boy, it is just deleting them all in real time. Everything's fine, chat. <laughs> I said it so their phrase is a blacklisted phrase. So now it's just a wall of spam and messages being deleted. But they're not actually going through on this end. Chat go burr. Um, yeah, yeah, Viz. You, you, listen, Viz. You know, you know how to do stuff? You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, um... Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. I've done stuff. There you go. I just turned follower mode back on. It's chewing through them. There's just a billion of them. So, yeah, I'll just leave follower on for now. Um, uh, I would love the help, Viz, if you don't mind. Um, and also, Uh, Viz, I also gave you Moobot permissions. Thanks, Viz. Bam me quick! Anyway, let's go back to the video game. Sorry for the disruption there. You can still read the deleted messages because I'm noticing it was very funny. Oh, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, I was just like, well, as long as I'm bopping them as they're, as they're coming in, it should be fine unless you have, you know, something like BTTV or moderator permissions. Uh, but anyway, sorry about follower-only mode. I normally don't like to be follower-only or sub-only or anything like that. 
But sometimes we got things like bots. And uh, it's no fun. Anyway, welcome back. Hi. Boom, pop, beep, boom, boom. Seen a Mr. Robot handle? Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. I really do need to ask Gam what he normally does when there's bots around. Because I know he does stuff. Hey, get up. Wait, I saw that. Yeah. Wait, go back. And then go there. Yes. Turn up. Thanks to turn up. Message all the mods. Well, I'm very reliant on my mods to help. That's the thing is that, like, chat is so good. Shout out to chat. Hi, chat. That, like, I very rarely need actual moderation. It's very uncommon that there's actually a normal human being in chat that needs something done, which is what most moderation is for, I would think. So, there's been a few times where I'm like, I'm gonna add a couple more mods, and then I forget that I should always be looking to add more mods, because, hey, I really appreciate it. Um, there are normal people here, allegedly. One guy needs to moderate a month, maybe. Yeah, exactly. So, which I'm very appreciative of. We have a good community here, a very good vibe. But it just means whenever there is stuff that I'm like, oh, this isn't good, I am ill-equipped to deal with it because I don't know how to do things. It's all pre-recorded. Um, get him. And you. Wait. Yeah. Hey. Quit it. It felt like it was... I feel like it was slurping me down, but I don't know if that's something I did. The community reflects the streamer. How dare you? I do think that the streamer takes a big role in setting precedent, as well as saying what's okay and what isn't. But at the end of the day, chat is still the chat. The audience is still the audience. The community is still the community. So it is all on you for being great, and I appreciate it. There's only so much that I could do if... if the community sucked, right? But it does. You guys are great. I appreciate it. I feel very, very fortunate. Uh, boom. Yo, thanks. Sir. Eh. I was like, I should go for that health. I'm good. I want to pull. Chat is good. Chat is stinky. There you go. Hey, Viz. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't doing a pull for me? Yeah. Fuck! That's the thing I mostly use mods for, is like, stuff like that. Not actually moderation. Just like, hey, my hands are busy. Haha, -ha, get responsibilities. Get done, done. For free labor, exactly, yeah. It better be an option. I'm upset about it. I know the skulls eh, don't give you anything, but I just keep wanting to grab them because it's satisfying to do so. Oh, they're kissing. Oh. I missed a lot of secrets in this level, huh? Huh. Hmm. New Mole Knight Origin game? Hell yeah. This is a little... Oh, there's a curiosity shop. Oh, no. Oh, no, there's a gotcha. Oh, no. Gotcha with fake money. Oh, no. Gotcha real money? Mm -mm. Gotcha fake money? Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Sticker page for two doubloons. I want to talk to this guy. I want to know what his deal is. What do you got in here? Oh, these are health? Or are these extra health? Because they're yellow. Is that like, are those like blue hearts? And what are these? Sticker! <gasps> okay, buy, buy me a sticker page. 
What? How do I look at my cool stickers? Beetle Grub. I got no. I got a dupe. All right. My third one's a dupe. I'm done with gotchas forever. Goodbye. Good day, sir. I'm mad about it. Oh, can oh you can oh yeah um then I could um be like I got this guy he's hanging out yeah here there he is and then I got anything like another one maybe they're um oh I can they're talking this is neat that this is in the demo. So, okay, it does count that I got more than one of them, so I actually have two stickers of them. And there's like a little grub over there. That's all my- oh, and a gem! Hey, there you go. That's cool that it actually has the thing around it if it's underground. Oh. Now I gotta get them all. Gotta get them all! Alright. Let me out. Heads don't peek! Dupes are good here, actually. For the one and only time. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Okay, yes. You know, I was thinking, like, this game seems rad, but it needs, like, another wrinkle. It needs another little something. And we found a th something. If they build on some of these ideas, this could end up being a really good game. Instead of just, like, this is neat. Which is not bad. I love neat games. But it's that extra level up, man. That little bit of design that makes you go, ooh. It's introducing wrinkles in my brain. Wait, no. I wanna go back. Those are not very colorblind friendly. But as I have color vision, I guess that's fine. You. I mean, red and blue are not. The worst colors to pick. And the red seems to be a deeper value. Shit. Yeah, nuts. What if I, eh, and then go above? That's why that's there. Making me use my brain a little bit about it. Making me think with my brain parts. I'm into it. Oh. Who gave them guns? Why do they have guns? Go. A little bit of Pac-Man that makes you boop 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 When you're a drill dozer girl in a drill dozer world and the whole world's gone mad Wait I was like can I be sneaky and just do a little a little scooch Oh Oh look at that Oh ah! <laughs> Shit Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Tasty help. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. Shit. They fly now? I changed the flowers that are at least one week old. Thank you, Viz. Appreciate it. Uh. Hey. Wait, that's worse. Hmm. I mean, I did set it to what I thought was 20 minutes. But I know that Gam is able to go through and... I think he usually bans the accounts, the bot accounts. But I don't know if there's an automated way to do that. Oh, they got slapped. They got smacked with a thing. Hey, don't. Hey, don't. Got him. Hmm. That's a lot to ban. Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm like, I don't know. I really should ask him what he do. Because Moobot has a lot of really nice features for moderation. Uh, no, this is fine. This is fine. Now I'm over here. Like, Twitch themselves have been improving their auto mod, but 
I find that there's still a lot of things I prefer the way Mubot handles it. it seems a lot of Twitch's new features have been like auto detection things. Twitch insights is helpful. Use the friendly ban bots that you're not for. Mm. Um, yeah, and also you can share ban lists and stuff, which is nice. That's a nice feature. Or at least they were working on it. I don't know if it's actually out yet. Um, oh. Mm. Uh, that's very satisfying. Yay. And then... And then... Can I... Eh? Oh, and that stops it. That's... That's really neat. That's really cute. There's one better than Fossabot. I'm not familiar with Fossabot. I'm not going to say Mubot's the best one out there, but... It's been working for me. Uh... Oh... Okay. Um... This seems a little bit... A little bit dicey. Okay, yeah, so I lost all my golden health, so those are just extra little bonuses. Oh, now he's over... Oh, I see. I get it. Watch my streamers. That's fair. Boom! <laughs> he's got a little parachute! He's fine! He's okay, folks! That's great. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, um... Uh, uh, uh... Yeah? Oh, 64. Now we can go over here. He's fine! He's a trained stunt bug. What, what am I... Oh, I think I... Wait. Will this? I guess that's... Okay, because that only has that one, and then it can chain react by others. That's cool. I definitely like this game going a little bit puzzly platformy with it. I think that's a really smart way to mix it up. Oh, it's just satisfying, but I skipped a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's fine. We don't have time. We don't we're already over time? Son of a What's all this? What's all this do? Put it on the box. I like to say when games are neat, and this game's got neat stuff in it. It's it's the kind of thing where how I feel about it overall is going to depend on how many neat ideas they put into it and how they mix it up and how far they take the ideas. That's the other demo. Perfect. Perfect timing. What I've seen is an excellent foundation that makes me excited to see more about it. But for a game like this, I'm like, I want to see some neat little ideas where I'm like, oh. And I already saw a bunch of them. So I got, I got some confidence. This, this title screen and this music does not fit the vibe of the game thus far. <laughs> it's like, that is my only real complaint is it's not even really a complaint. It's just like a huh that like, it's such a high energy, intense title screen. And the game is like, yeah, you're moving along. You're chill. And the music's kind of vibe. It's like, all right, we're chill. It's good. It's just very silly. Anyway, Star Trucker. Let's check. Uh, we got two more to go. Two more to go. Star Trucker. Yeah. Go. John Marketing didn't read the assignment. He's like, make it badass as hell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Celeste House Scream with Screamo. Yeah. Just seems like an interesting idea. All right. Uh, goo. In space. No one can, when trucking hap happen. Hope this is European trucks in space. Yeah. It seems to be more gamified than pure sim style, but I don't know. I didn't look that much into it. It just seems great. Seems neat. When the truck hits your eye, no one can hear you honk, which is a shame. That's the worst part. That's great. Let's go. Game's already good. This gameplay demo represents work in progress is subject to change before release.
I forgot to check if Pepper Grinder has a release date. Fair wants to check that for me. I'd appreciate it. Or I can check after this if I don't forego it twice. It's just desert bus. This is a 1044, the big rig that just broke down in Onyx. 150? Looks like you're leaking a whole lot of lung juice there, buddy. Lung juice. 2024. I want to take a walk and patch those holes. Exit. Are we there yet? We're on, we're on it. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Me do. Rainer. Here's Tucker McDonald's. We've been in the game for five seconds. Where's suit? Yeah. Um. Airlock door. Okay. Close it Did you remember to equip your suit? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I want space McDonald's. I'm working on it. Hole breach. Oh, we we are. Oh. Oh, we are just full. We're not even attached to the ship. Okay. I see. I brought a wrench, right? Patch up. Oh. I know you're hungry. We'll be there in a minute. Repair. What do you think we're trucking? What do you think we're shipping? Space burgers. Did I do it? There she is. Yeah, she's a beaut. Where am I? Where am I? What am I looking? Hey, there she. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me rotate over this way. There you go. Yeah, ain't she a beaut? She's a zero wheeler. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, this thing of beauty in it. Hard space ship breaker with the twangy sounds. I think it's a good idea. Well, the oxygen leak? Nah, listen. Little oxygen, uh, combustion never hurt nobody. Recharge your suit. Open door. Close the door. Put the suit. Is that? It's a little bit loud. Nudge it down. Is it recharging? Yes, it is. Take the driver's seat. Hey, now we got lights on. UCC hit points? What? Hit point? What the, what do you, eh. It's taking damage. Okay, um. Oh, huh? Oh. Power cells. Boxes. We got a bunch of shit. Four systems, mag lock controls, gravity compensator, oxygen generator, suit charger, climate regulator, shock shielding's down. Shock shielding's down? Pick up hard case contain. Oh, we got some air filters in there. You gonna need those. Soup? How's the soup doing? Okay, all right, all right, let's go. Give me. Press right trigger to accelerate using main thrusters to brake and reverse. Press left trigger, use left stick to fire maneuvering thrusters and turn the truck left bumper and right bumper. Roll left and right. Switch to external view with the D-pad. Okay. All patched up. Good. Close packs. Trailer. I guess you were heading Atlas Prime on a job. Well, just a quick heads up, but that gate's been real temperamental as of late. Uh, go. Lucky for you, the repair drones are busy fixing it as we speak. I reckon by the time you reach it, they'll have it up and running again. Oh, yeah. This seems, uh, seems good. Sounds super slow for space travel. I mean, yeah. Oh, you're out of here. Uh, no. This looks good. My objective. What about it? Put on some music. Optional. Well, figured it. Jump gates light and move between locations within the galaxy with your truck correctly aligned. The gate will power up once all gate lights are green. Use the lever above to make a jump. Excuse me. Where's my radio? Where's my radio? Hold on. There it is. 
All right, let's go. Hope this doesn't get the vibe popped. Do, 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 do. Oh. Yeah, turn. Glad to see you finally made it. No, every time. Oh. Waiting for you. Good truck, it's so I'll make sure your payment gets processed. I'm gonna go to the waypoint first. They get good reception in the wormhole, they do. Or it's a local radio. Drive your cargo to its designated drop zone to complete the ha a haulage contract. Drop zone will change color to indicate the trailer is within the safe zone. Okay, that's much better than having to back up into a spot in space. Although I am a little bit worried about this. Paint and ride? This game is gorgeous. I really like this, like, exaggerated, almost cartoonish sci-fi aesthetic. Okay. Slow it, slow it down, slow it down. Oh, we're doing a little space drift. No, this is good. This is good. No, 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 we're not jackknifing. It's fine. Ooh. Break, break, <laughs> break. <laughs> Turn off your truck's magnetic lock system to unhitch from trailers. It's going to be done using the magnetic lever inside the cab. Oh, good. Make sure the entire trailer comes to a stop within the highlight area. You won't get paid. No, it's good. That's fine. Just kind of easy does it. Trucking's delicate work, you know? You just got to... Um... Nah, right, we'll bring her, we'll bring her around. We'll bring her around for another pass. There's a space 405? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> uh, where are my hazard lights on my space truck? Yep, yeah, we're just gonna bring her around. Where am I? Where, where am I? Okay, there we are. Wait, gotta dip the nose down. There you go. Easy does it. Just park her in. She's purring like a kitten. The kitten who's under duress and doesn't much care for you. There you go. Easy does it. We're a little bit askew. Can I roll her to the left? There you go. There you go. That, now that's nice. That's nice. There you go. Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, you second you put in space, I'm hooked. Right? Uh, where's my maglev separator button? Breaker, breaker. Uh, the, the maglev thing said was over. Unhitch. The slight damage to the cargo there, but we still made a profit. That's good. Thanks for the rate to be scope. I got a good stream. Standard delivery of clothes packs to Dia Swift Logistics and Atlas Prime. Great job. Payments should already be with you. Man, look, we're docking but camera. If you feel like spending some oh. of that hard earned cash, mm. just head on over to Palmview Station. You'll find they've got supplies, a few jobs on the board, oh. and the best home cooked soya protein this side of Alpha Centauri. We got some extra little cameras. New Liberty Terminal. Yeah, all right. Break for barrel, break for barrel. This is Red Eddie, cooking good out here. Where am I? This is Barrow. Go ahead. What can I do for you, mate? I'm looking for info on the express case. Last I heard it was a parking lot out there. No. Oh, nowhere in the galaxy you hear that. Clear out here as far as the eye can see. What? Too much spit. Heard it from Dusty Bear. Our own set of apple ears. All right, all right. You caught me. Hey, you go. the mail here at the pit stop. <laughs> Those sheriff instincts die hard, don't they, old bear? Now, who are you calling old I love that it's just the normal ass truck you with big old rockets on it. Listen to you two turkeys arguing again. You're hogging the channel. Yeah. Oh. Interact with your fellow truckers by using your CB radio. If you see a symbol, pick up the mic. Hold right trigger to view a list of responses and then press a button to oh, reply. Just a coffee break, Eddie. Ain't no one out here with us anyway. Break 10-2, oh. loud and clear. Sounds like the newcomer made it across from Onyx in one piece. One piece? Well, I'll be. You got a handle, pal? 
Not yet. Well, you'll need one if you're gonna be driving out here. Maybe we should call you Lucky Break. You know, on account of the serendipity of our meeting. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a tough break in Vexmont. Uh, I got some debris. Uh, break. Jake. Jake. I reckon Lucky Jay could work. Uh, Lucky Jay it is, uh, I maybe shouldn't have... <laughs> Gone through. I might have made a miscalculation taking this path. Lucky J, bang! What's going, Bidu? Warning collision detected. Yeah, I know. It's not, you don't need to be dupe that. Note to self, stick to the roads. I thought it was space and it would be fine. Use the docking camera to align the truck with a docking bay. Maneuver close enough for the maglock system to become available when you're in position. Pull the maglock lever to lock with the target. Oh, I have to back it up? Are you kidding me? Break, 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 turn, break. Back it up. Don't, 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 don't make a beedoop noise of me. I've been trucking every day of my space life. I know this truck like the. I know this. I know this truck like the back of my hand. But I'm currently wearing gloves. So don't you worry nothing about it. Let me just, uh. Pivot. 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 Oh, this does not control. Backing it up. Backing her up. Let me see. Shake that. Yep. There we go. That's looking nice. Nice and good. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. Okay. Just got to pivot. Wrong way. Pivot. There you go. Don't stop your noises. Wait. This way. That way. All right. Back it up. Careful now. It's like putting your hand into a glove in space. Whoa, slow it down. Slow it down now. Slow it nice and easy. Eat just like the simulations. Just get a couple meters. And there you go. Maglock ready. Slap it in. My truck is so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just covered in crap. Job boards provide a list of contracts available in the local areas. Your in certification skills to list to expand, giving you access to new job types and cargo to haul. Keep in mind that bonuses and deductions will differ between job types, and harsh penalties will be issued for abandoning hauls or canceling of jobs. Okay. Expires in 10 minutes. Um, yeah, well, uh, right, man, um, where, where we, what, what do we want to deliver? Some oxygen? Seems like a good idea. Trust me with oxygen. The freight contract is entering and me. Play for this party. It's just party. We're having a party. Conversation. Charles Reese's conversation is under term and termination. Companies reserves the rights to seek reimbursement of up to six hundred dollars for following circumstances. I'll use some driver. Driver shall operate as long as we have regulations. Sure. What well, define local laws and regulations that were in space? Uh I don't know what the details are. Yeah, you look for each job. Yeah, well, for the company, you know. Obligations of the company. Confidentiality. Indemnification, naturally. Governing law and jurisdiction. The contract will be governed by galactic law. Any disputes arising under or in connection with this contract will be subject to the exclusive jurisdiction of the galactic courts. In acknowledgement thereof, the parties here and have agreed and confirmed this freight contract as of the effective date. I accept. I did it. Why, why are you... Open glove compartment? <gasps> There's a manual! I don't need that. I should possibly repair the ship a little bit, though. <laughs> Literally everything fell off. Oxygen levels in the cab seem low. Make sure your oxygen generation is operational. Air filter is in good working condition. Any hole breaches have been patched. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, what, what? One thing at a time. 
Docking bay three. Pick up oxygen. What do you mean pick up oxygen? I gotta go. I gotta fix some shit. Yeah, I know. Don't talk to me. Can't exit truck here. How am I supposed to fix my breaches? Uh, this charger bay. Okay, that is its own separate thing. Oh my god. You really gotta learn your ship, huh? That's neat though, I like that. More power. The oxygen, don't meow about the oxygen. Oh, I'm getting a little bit lightheaded. I'm getting a, li a little bit lightheaded. I mean, it says right here, the oxygen generation. Oh, I just turned it off. You just gotta, just gotta flick the switch a few times. Um, You need to add auto repair mechanics to your game. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna take a little nap. <laughs> Just gonna take a quick little nap there and time. Okay, great. Well, that was Star Trek. <laughs> well, I listen, I need to get out of my ship to fix the hole breaches, but if I'm docked at a station, I can't exit my ship. So I'm I'm just gonna have a little nap. <laughs> Lucky J. That's Lucky J. All right. Well, uh, that was actually a lot of fun, and I definitely want to play more of that. <laughs> just you know. I love me a little simulation game. All right, last but not least, it's time for Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip. I hope that just looking at the key art here tells you everything you need to know about that this game was made for me. Um, let's go. You'll probably get in the pilot seat while you're in your EVA suit. Oh, that's a good idea to stay in the EVA suit until you can get out of the... Yeah, anything about that. And I died for it. That's Lucky J, the man who was asphyxiated in the goddamn save station. You yeah. know. Oh, Tiny Terry Thermo. Wait, before we hop into this, let me check uh, the video game that we just played. What it's about. Hold on. It's loading. It's thinking about stuff. Yep. Why is it? Why does the capture look dimmer than it does on my screen? That's weird. GBA dimming. I can do a, a direct capture. Oh, now it's fine. Well, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, real quick though, uh, people say this is 2024. Yep, 2024. And Star Trucker is 2024. Sometime this year. Uh, let's see if this. Weird. Okay. I will try doing a direct capture. It's weird that when I alt tab, it's showing it at proper brightness. Let me see if I do these. Switch over here. There we go. Dead. That's that's uh that's just from my 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 stream scene for if a PC capture dies. <laughs> that's just behind every game I play. Uh, anyway, Terry time. Let's go say hi to Terry. You're about to play an early demo. We have to start the timer. It's fine. We're just going to play this for a little bit. It's last game. Please note that Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip is still in development. Everything you see, hear, and feel is subject to improvement in the final product. Job Publication Center is loading. Hello, sir. Says Grony, Grony. Hello, sir. Says Terry. I take it you are also looking for a job. I need a car. Ah, yes, a job with a lease car. Just the car without the job, if possible. I see. Are you going to drive that car anywhere specific? Space. Yeah, we were just there. Of course, space. Very cool, sir. Yep. Next, please. Spapelli. Her name is Spapelli. Wait, sir. I, uh... 
Really enjoyed our little chat just now, sir. Would you like to have my phone number so we can stay in touch? What's the number? One. Just one? Yep. I think I'll remember that. Okay, good luck with the job interview and the space mission, sir. Thanks, sir. Yes, Terry! Over here! Sorry. Hi. How you doing? I'm in. When, where can I pre-order? Uh, you can wishlist it on Steam. Uh, hi, Terry. What kind of job are you looking for? I'm just looking for a car. There's someone in the building recruiting taxi couriers. Would you be interested in that? That'll get me a car? I would hope so. Okay, I'll take it. Sweet. Now you just gotta, uh, talk directly to the employer. I am familiar with the process. <laughs> Please follow me. I don't know why that's the lie that gets me. Okay. I'm here for a car. I'm here for a job that gives me a car so I can go to space. Okay, follow me. I'm familiar with the process. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing? Over here? In here? Oh, hey. Hi. Hello. Hello. Zmrapfi. What your price? And name. We start with price. I don't really need the money. Just interested in the car. And my name is Terry. Wonderful. Ever drive car before, Terry? No. Got driver license then? That'd be hilarious. I don't think that's important. How about life insurance? Don't need it. Wonderful. And I understand you not need get paid. Just the car? Correct. No, I want money too. I understand. I write down minimum wage. Okay. Congratulations! You have job as taxi driver. Sweet. There is yellow car waiting for you outside. It looked like big shoe on wheels. That's all I ever wanted. Visit my garage later, okay? Okay. <laughs> Just sit back down again and nothing happens. All right, time to go. I really, I really like Terry. I really like him. And I like, I like how his head, head rotates. His face flips to the side as you, as you move him around. Like his eyes are on the left there and now his eyes are on. I like that he's also looking up at the camera. <laughs> anyway, let's get, we got a car. Woo! Yeah, woo! Did you manage to get the car? Yes. I was watching Dodger play this. Every bounce and every animation made me think of Barry. Oh my god. I didn't know Dodger played this. Congratulations! Thanks. I hope our friend got a job. Terry me like boing boing. Sprinkle water is loading. It even has Terry for a license plate already. As soon as Dodge Stream ended, that's when I went to the Red Dock. Nice. 
Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip is a true open world game where you can explore content in any order you like. So to keep some surprises for the full version, Terry won't be able to enter certain buildings. And additionally, the demo will end after gathering 150 turbo junk. Please enjoy. Don't forget to wishlist. Terry! Toggle mini map. Open big map. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Buitenrot Beach. Geldweg Binrot. Wire Dan Tunnel. Underpret. Bukehaven Road. I can't tell if this is gerb gibberish or if we're in the Netherlands. Wegwauder. Truck and trucker auto drop. So that's a, that's our boss. Cars are upgraded here. Ooh. I want to check that out. All right. Um, control camera. You gotta fill up a meter. Reset camera. Yeah. What can all those? Can I steal someone else's car? Let's get in. Traveling by car is the fastest way to cross long distances. Note, Terry can leave the car at any time to interact more with the environment. Yeah! 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 Yeah, Terry, let's go! Terry! Yeah, Terry! Let's do it, Terry! Woo! Yeah! I'm sorry. The fact that when he's driving his both hands on the wheel, and when you put it in reverse, he, he's got the one arm back, but he's not looking backwards is really funny to me. Someone just going, I hope so. This is the ideal video game. Yeah, I think so. I think we found it. No, let me back her up. Can you drive into the ocean? Sure. Why not? It's Terry's world. Kinderprun Elementary School. Goodbye! That'll be 15 money. I don't have that kind of money lying around, Carl. <laughs> no, his name. I feel you. <laughs> Let's call it even then. <laughs> Makes sense. See ya. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> Thanks for saving my car, Carl. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. Carl's a bro. Where the hell am I? Whoa. That's some, that's some fancy nonsense. You acquired the shovel. Can be used to dig holes. Okay. Open inventory. Whoa. Map of sprinkle water shows where you're on the map and hints objectives. Cell phone can be used to make a call from almost anywhere. Turbo junk gives you this map free to turn them into turbo upgrades. Money, the road to happiness starts with money, or so they say. Beach fries, excruciatingly salty. Apartment keys, the keys to Terry's home. Shovel. Shovel is equipped. Let me put the phone. Oh, I should I should call our friend. Hello? Hello. Is this Terry? Yes. Hey, Terry. How'd the job interview go? Good. I got the car. Of course you did. Congratulations. So what is up? I don't know where to go. Just call to say hello. Well, hello to you too, sir. I'm sorry, this song samples the electrical interference noise and it's bothering me. Hello! Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> there was money in the ground! I thought that was me. I know. It wasn't. Yo, we can pay back Carl if we crash our... Our shit again. Um... Three. No number. 69. 2. 11. Leet. 
6969. Two, 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 two. I like how he puts his whole body into it. Too much of the demo kick you out? I know. I'm aware, but also it's fine. I can't dig this. Because I'm not going to play the full demo because I'm going to pick up this game and buy it when it comes out. Are you kidding me with this? You guys are so cool. Because we're truckers. I used to aspire being a trucker. What went wrong? I have bigger plans now. Anyway, I'm thinking about starting a collection. Do you guys have any of that cool junk that starts hovering when you touch it? Junk? Nah. But for 50 money, I'll tell you where I buried my treasure. Don't fall for it, it's just a bunch of junk. Yeah, I told you, I'm looking for junk. I mean, you are literally going to pay 50 money to dig up a trash can. Well, do you want it or not? Yes. We got a deal. Are you sure you have that much money? I could never lie to a trucker. I have 19 money now, but I'll come back later. Oh my, buy trucker Pert's trash can. I can't handle this game's entirety of the way that it is. Uh, unstuck Perry is good. I want, can I unequip? There we go. Woo! Oop. Exit first person mode? Excuse me. Alright. Hey. Let's go, baby! Uh. 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 Where, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I think I need to be up above where I am to do stuff. Ah. There we go. Yeah, Terry! Let's go, Terry! This game makes me very happy in a way I can't properly express in words. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. My entire computer did a thing. Hey, how we doing, chat? Whoa. Oh, well, hold on a second. Oh, well, my entire computer did not like something that just happened. How we doing, chat? Everything good? How we doing? Still up? We're good? Okay. My streaming software froze, but I pulled up a tab with a chat in it in browser, and I can see that. Hi. All right. Well, anyway, my computer's died, but that's not news. Let's go to the kindergarten. Yeah. Frame dropped a bit. Yeah, my entire computer did a hiccup. <gasps> oh, shit, he cannot run. Are you kidding me, Terry? Are you kidding me, Terry? Okay, I need to buy this game yesterday. Seems that we can't go into the... The kindergarten. Um, it's an elementary school as kinder in the name to confuse you. Kinder means. Oh, hey, sorry. Hi. Oh. 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 I'm controlling. Huh. Huh. How dare you achieve perfection, Terry? How dare you? There's other video games, you know. This isn't fair to other video games. Hey, thanks for the ride. You good? Alright. <laughs> Just... Hey, we're free. Hey, thanks for that! Shit. Yeah! We're off-roading now. I love that he just hops in their car and sits there very politely. Alright, that's my stop. Thanks. Oh. What? What? What does that say? This camera seems to... ...sometimes get... ...a little cranky. It is in development, after all. Or it's like, a little bit too snug. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
This is just like L.A. Noir. This is if L.A. Noir was good. I'm fine. Oh my god, they're communicating. Um, sorry. I just, they were communicating. Fries. Oh, are they following me? They speak Animal Crossing. They speak for the trees. I did leave my car behind somewhere, but that's probably fine. I'm sorry, the B button is the buh button? This game, good. This game, very good. Um, he. Where's Terry's apartment? Oh my god, hi. Sorry. Um, I didn't mean to. Hey, so when he's like, I want a car so I can go into space. Yeah, I don't know what I said. What is the. There is, there is a, there is a road. There is a road that just goes up into space. Sky Plaza. Um, where's my car? Where'd I leave it? This fucking entire town is just... Man has a plan. I have a plan. I gotta make it to the space road. Why did I need my own... Part pardon me. Can I honk? I am the horn. Pardon. Oh! Oh no! Sorry, she's fine. You can first person. This car is going very fast considering. Hey, how you doing? I think I blew up one of the wheels. No, we're fine. Um, is, is there like a toll or do I, can I just, just head on the sky bridge? Oh. Oh. Oh, you need, you need, we probably have to upgrade our car. We gotta do it with Terry's car? I think you have to upgrade Terry's car. Yeah, need more juice. That's our arc, baby. Whoa. Physics. Physics is my passion. You card the pipe. I did. I did. Swing it to assert dominance. Okay. Terry can whack one of the many parking signs to summon his car. Some other objects around town can be whacked to receive the money. Oh, Terry learned the violence. Do I have to... <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Hey, we're back. Pardon, pardon me. Yeah! This is what it's like to be Terry. Junk it with Jack! They really did just put a camera inside of his head and then went, yeah, whatever the animations do is fine. No, he's okay. Terry, no! Don't commit a violence, Terry! No, Terry! Let's see what the jack is about. Can I go in here? I can. I I I need to stop playing this because I need to save for when the game comes out. Because are you kidding me? This is everything I ever wanted in a video game. Welcome to the junk store, where we buy junk, sell junk, and even produce our own junk. In fact, we proudly produce all kinds of junk all day, every day. Can I interest you in some junk? 
Yes. All junk stores have a shared inventory, so whichever junk store you enter, you get access to the same junk supply. I bet I can interest you in some junk. Yes. Have a look. Oh. Unavailable in demo. Bug net. Catch bugs and other things. Well, thanks. Bye. Most agreeable. This is a good video game. I think everyone should go wish list this, this wish list this game immediately. Does it despawn my car? Or is it just not even spawned if the car is nearby? That makes sense. What a chill, cool dude. Actually, I do want to quickly before we wrap up. He's do he's doing it. That confidence, man. Uh, I want to see where. Um. It's forward to the right from the circle. I want to see about upgrading the car. I just want to see what the options are, at least. Uh. Oh. How do... Is it down there? Yeah, we can probably just park her up here, right? There you go. Yep. Run, Terry, run! Delicious. Who needs a license? Yeah, Terry doesn't you? Oh. <laughs> there goes the car. Hi! Terry, you made it. Are you ready for work? No. Oh, right. We must install passenger seats so you can do job. Nah. No. I need my car to go faster. Faster. Quicker trips equal more passengers. More passenger equal more money. Actually, I'm just trying to get to space. I laugh. Ha. 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 I like you, Terry. I can make car go faster. But need resources. Resources? Turbo junk. Bring me 150 turbo junk and I make car faster. But the demo ends once I get 150 turbo junk. Oh. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure either. Anyway, see you later. Ay, 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 ay. Good game is good. Game good. Good video game. Oh my god, they're invincible. Me moving in the car. Terry. I brought 35 turbo junk. I turned 150 into one turbo up. But you only have 35. Yeah, okay. See you later. I love this game. Hoping it be a taxi in the full game. I would love it if this game does a crazy taxi mini game, but I respect the hell out of it if it doesn't. Anyway, this has been Terry's Turbo Taxi Terrarium. Whatever the hell the game is called. God, I just, there's something, man, this vibe is immaculate. Incredible. It's slap. It's good. It's a good game. Um, I hope y'all wish this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this stream today. Checked out a lot of cool games. I really enjoyed literally every demo I played. Which is kind of usually the case. I try to pick ones I expect I'll have a good time with. But man. Some real bangers. And I only played a couple of the like thousand plus games in the next fest. So you know. Into Ocean so we can pay Carl? Great idea. Yeah, come on Terry. There you go buddy. 
did it. Oh. It's just on the house forever. I, d I am curious what he says if you have enough money. But maybe it's always set to be higher than what you have. Yeah. Anyway. This game good. Carl's a real one. The money was subtracted. Um. Good. Wait, was it? No, I already... I'm gonna think I only had 14. The money... Wait, was it? Actually, I don't know how much money I had before. But I have 14 now. Money. Oh. It's actually counting down how many fries I have left. He ate the... Oh. I did have 35? That's amazing. I'm a car buddy again. Hello? Hello? I don't know where to go. Well, that's up to you. But I hear there's a really nice public pool all the way up northeast, just north of the Bretland Motel. You know, the hotel that closed after all the tourists left. Oh, yeah. Was there anything else you want to talk about? That's all. Call me anytime, okay? Okay, bye. What a good friend. Hey, the interference noise gets me, man. I have to unequip my pipe so we can not run to the fullest. What a good little guy. Anyway, uh, yeah. That was a little beacon. Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip. It's everything. This game is everything to me, man. Uh, anyway. Thanks for hanging. Let me just push back over on this. Uh, 12 tasty demos that I quite enjoyed. Uh, go wish list them. Go check them out. Tiny Terry's is coming soon, TM. Coming soon. Hopefully soon means soon. Uh, top three. God, why do I have to pick? Um... Uh, uh, Tiny Terry, Crypt Master, Duck Detective. If I had to pick, those might be in my top three, but I really enjoyed all these. These are all neat. Thanks again for hanging, everybody. Let me get caught up on stuff. Everything must be a list. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you Hopefully something caught your eye you didn't know about already. And as I said before, let me know uh, if there's any games you check out during the next fest that you think are neat and you think might be my jam. Uh, KOK okay, links for 38. Uh, finally had the time to catch a stream since going back to Cool Egg after having to drop out a couple years ago. Hope y'all having a good time. You're staying dry with all this rain. Yeah, it's been coming down. It's doing good though. I'm glad that Knock and Wood haven't lost power or internet. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. Rhea the Necromonster, thanks for 43. How was Balatro? I liked it. And especially once I understood what I was doing. Uh, it seems very compelling. He may Riola, thanks for 800 bits. I want a bit badge. Think of a funny joke for me and pretend it was in the cheer. That was a good joke. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the bit emote you got. Kiwi Queen, thanks for 21 months. Jay, looking pretty cute today. Susan Kane, thanks for nine months. That's crazy. Thanks for the fun. Thank you. Enki, thanks for soup. Maybe they can get a mix master mic to join Beastie Ball. Smash Bros. thanks for 96 bits. Got it memorized. Co-op blooper, thanks for 20 months. Poke Emblem, thanks for 38 months. Happy Capster, thanks for the raid. Atoral Nat, 49 months. Oxy B, thanks for a year and a half. Stop giving me all these keys. I'm gonna be able to unlock my front door in days. Just kind of wave it in front. It'll open. It's fine. Hands you another key. Enjoy. Ebbe, thanks for 100 bits. Sir90, thanks for 25 months. Ebbe, thanks for 100. All I can think of is the Gravity Falls fake show, Duck Detective. I have a good day. Thank you for the hammy. Tara Silvershade, thanks for 16 months. Just joined that we are on a burb. Good stream. Sadie, thanks for 56 and it's year two. Flocks kind of remind me of Bug Snacks. It's like less body horror bug snacks. I'm here for it. Eve, thanks for eight months. Oh, eight months. Watch out. They're flying everywhere. Chemist, thanks for 70 months. That's a lot of months. Uh, Hydrium for Fighter Forge, thanks for the prime. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Man Dog, thanks for 40 months. It's the stinky month. Dirty, 30. 30 months. Ori Rocks, thanks for 32 months. Integral, thanks for 30. I agree. Chat is wholesome. Ooh, ooh. Tobisco, thanks for the raid. Zavern, 56. Kobe One, 11 months. Sinfix, thanks for 31. I don't show for many of the streams, but I love watching the VODs. Either way, your VODs and streams are like a warm blanket on a cold day. Cozy and always able to make my day significantly better. 
Thank you for doing what you're doing. Keep being who you are. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Thank you. And Jukes Art the Box, thanks for 29. Thank you kindly. Thanks so much for hanging though. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, once again, let me find someone to send you off to. Uh, and uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Bath is doing another Majora Rando. We just raided Bath the other day. So I will refrain, but I'm always tempted to raid Bath and be like, hey, look, it's Bath. Oh, shit, we can raid Katie. We don't get to raid Katie too often. I'm always, whenever I see someone like, oh, I can raid someone. Is it Katie's birthday? Is it Katie's birthday? Am I only just now learning it's Katie's birthday? Or is that just a bit? Is it really? Katie's doing Lethal Company. So, I mean, regardless of birthday, I think it's neat to raid Katie, who's a great artist and a great streamer. You should follow her. The Katie Coop Scoops. So it's fun hanging. Thanks for hanging. I appreciate it. Hope you all had a good time. I had a blast with these games. Uh, but yeah, go say go say hi to Katie. Wish wish her a happy birth. Uh, just just like a just like a like a birth birthday birthday raid. Um, let me get you. Uh, it's too quiet. There we go. Yeah, I enjoy doing these streams. Thank you. Appreciate it. I am glad that Valve started doing these. I like them a lot. Happy birthday. Yeah, with whatever emotes you got. Throw out some celebratory emotes with your birthday cheer. And uh, go watch Katie. Go follow her. Go say hi. You're playing on the... Yeah, I had a great time. Literally, all these games are at. For very different reasons. Hmm. Thanks for hanging. See you uh, Thursday if you want. That's up to you. KT birthday. It's in the lyrics. Thanks for hanging. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Goodbye. See you. Get out of here. I'm waiting. Goodbye. There's five seconds left. Get out of here. Get on. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Thanks for watching, Bob Watchers. Hope you enjoyed these demos. Be sure to let me know if there's any that you found from the next fest in the comments on YouTube or not. But if you want to, I'd be like, ooh, check it out. I uh, hope you enjoyed these games. If you're watching on YouTube, there's links in the description. All these games, go wish list them the ones that you thought were neat. It helps the developers. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.